on its online and offline platforms. Patricia, Mrs. Patricia Famorio is an entrepreneur. She's not just an entrepreneur, she's a speaker and also a certified life and business coach. I'm sure you are excited to have her. She'll be coordinating today's um, last um, wealth challenge, and that is the e-commerce and the dropshipping segment. If you are excited, if you are excited, type I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. If you can't wait to see her, just type I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. For me to continue, let me say I can't wait. So we started our wealth challenge. Um, oh, I can't wait. Thank you, Oprah Wendu. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Oprah Chiwendu. Thank you, Oguna. Thank you, Anoluaku. I can see people raising their hands. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So we started our first our wealth challenge. We started with Richard and Bill's business. Then we moved on to the second day on real estate. Then the third day, we moved to digital marketing. The fourth day, we moved on to freelance. The fifth, oh, I think I've missed the part. <laughs> Sorry. The first day, we did our Richard and Bill's. Second day, we did um, real estate sector. The third day, we moved to authors and speakers. The fifth, the fourth day, we moved to freelance, right? Before day, we moved to digital marketing. The fifth day, we moved to freelance. And now we are on the sixth day, like sixth day journey. If you join this sixth day, I'm, I must say you guys have done a very good job. I'm sure you, you've learned. If you are, if you've got if you got value from the first first day, can you type I got value, I got value, I got value? Oh well, this did not start with you. Oh, 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 so sorry. The videos, um, the videos for the previous um classes for the previous webinar will be sent across to you. You can get it on our university website. How do you register on the university website? You register by clicking on or by typing www.stevenakitayo.com slash university www.stevenakitayo.com slash university. you get it on our university. Thank you so much, Israel Ogona. Israel Ogona said you got value. If you got value from the six days world challenge, if you, if you joined us, if you begin, um, began the world challenge with us from the first day to the sixth day, let, let can you raise up your hand? Just the, your hands raised. Sex. Oh, sorry, I, have, I have many of you guys here. Thank you so much. Now we are now on the grand finale. Do you know the, the interesting part of this grand finale? We have all our speakers from day one, all our speakers from day one to this last day. Our speakers from Mr. Mohamed Adeleke to Mr. Dekwa Deshino to um, Mr. Ola Tsubosu to our last speaker to many of them, Mr. Toby Okunuga, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Toby Okunuga, hope you can get previous videos. Some of us are not aware. Of course, you can get your previous videos. I said this will be on our YouTube and it's also be on our university website. You get on the YouTube, you also get on our university website. So uh, I don't know if Eric is here. I guess today, You will get on our university website and also on the YouTube channel. So I'll be introducing um, our speaker to you. Like I said, Mrs. Patricia Famorio. She is the lead consultant for Soteria Specialist. She's the lead consultant for She's a lead consultant for the Soteria Specialist. And I said, Soteria Specialist, Soteria Specialist has excelled in manufacture, importation, procurement, and branding of promotional and corporate gift items for individual and corporate organizations, thus helping them project their brand and making sure their brand is in the forefront of your clients. Soteria has also excelled in marketing and procurement of high quality specialty, luxury high quality specialty, luxury hotel amenities. Also, a subsidiary clothing line, Soteria clothing and accessories caters for the clothing needs of high profile executives on its online 
and offline platforms. This woman, Ms. Mrs. Patricia Famorio, Ms. Patricia Famorio is not just uh, an entrepreneur, she's also Ms. a Famorio, um uh, around already, Abisala, is she yes, around? Yes, I already sent a message to Eric that she can't get access to the, to the webinar. She's okay, having so let, let me just get started um, and then she can join um, after I'm done to share her own experience. Um, All right. you know, because we have quite a lot to do today, so we need some, some speed. Uh, but thank you so much, Abisola. Abisola is the team leader of the Stephen Akita Consulting. And um, thanks so much for, for doing today's intro. And I hope you are still here till the end. Yes. Sir. Um, good. Beautiful. So let's get started. Today we want look, today is the final day. We started this class um, six days ago, and today is our last day here. Uh, let me say categorically that if you have not achieved something in the last three days, you've not seen anything you can start in the last three days, there's something wrong with you. And absolutely correct with that. Because one of the things you're supposed to do uh, is, to go, is to go and watch what you learned over and over again. Faith commit by hearing and hearing. So there's no way you hear about something for the first time and you already know what to do. So if you don't even know what to do after listening to these five days, it's common sense to know that one of the first thing to do is to go and watch the trainings all over again, because it takes a while before some of these things begin to make sense. So if you are not able to have made sense of anything that has been taught so far, because again, we, are, we live in a world where people love to be deceived, uh, people love to be pampered, and people find it hard to get anybody to tell them the truth. That's the kind of world we are in. People get it hard for anybody to tell them the truth. If you are poor, it's your fault. The, and, and you need to know that because there are poor people all over the world. You know, there are poor people in rich countries. I have seen, and I mean what I'm saying, more homeless people in America than I've seen in Nigeria. And that's obvious because the Nigerian concept, you can literally almost walk up to somebody's house that you don't even know. And, and probably they will allow you to sleep in their house. I get it. America doesn't work that way, right? But the reality is that I've seen people homeless sleeping on the street. I've seen people beg in Nigeria on the street, but many of those beggars still have somewhere they can go and sleep. But I've seen more homeless people in Washington, DC. I've seen more homeless people in New York than I have seen in Nigeria. So there are poor people everywhere. So even if Nigeria economy and all these things we talk about is fixed, there will still be poor people. These are facts and reality. Even Jesus says there will always be poor people in the land. And what, why would Jesus say that? It means that there will always be people who don't take enough actions. There will always be people, you know, who do not uh, um, take the right step to make progress. And they will always be poor. That is just normal. And it's up to you whether you want to do something great with your life or you are comfortable with your life. Up to you. But poverty is everywhere. So the question is, what are you going to do about your situation? Right? There's nothing I've said again and again to be uh, happy about poverty. There's nothing to be excited about poverty. Nothing. Nothing exciting about poverty. You're tired of poverty, take a step, do something. Stop living with people who enable your poverty. Stop living with them. Two poor people cannot help themselves. People who encourage you and are making you comfortable with poverty are not helping you, right? They are not helping you. I started today with a whole lot of uh, a session with a young man whose case has gone viral on social media between him and his lover. And I remember saying to him, I said, most of the people uh, who are deceiving you are not, you know, after your interest. They're not gonna help you. 
most of the people telling you to continue your social media war with your lover don't care for you, right? They don't care for you. If things go bad, they don't care. So use your own brain, right? And begin to press some brake and begin to talk to yourself and begin to review your relationship with this woman and find a way to stop making yourself a laughing stock. It's normal for people when two husband and wife or lovers are fighting to keep finding the ember of discord, right? To keep telling you to need to reply her. Did you hear what they said your ex said about you? Did you hear this? All those people saying those things don't care about you. If things goes bad, they ain't gonna remember you. And I keep saying this again and again, the reality about this world is that poverty is nothing to be proud about, okay? And one of the things people would tell me, Mr. Steven, talk to people to stop vote buying in politics. And I just smile. I say, you don't understand somebody who has not eaten. The first thing that is in his mind is how to eat. So if you bring 5,000 to that person, before he remembers that this person giving me 5,000, okay, I will most likely come to power, eat my future. He doesn't even think that because the first thing that comes to his mind is how do I eat? That's why whenever I talk, I say, look, the worst thing that can happen to a generation is a generation that poverty has been weaponized, okay? Because the first thing that comes to the mind of somebody who is poor is how to eat. Any other thing you are saying doesn't even make sense. How do I eat is the priority in the mind of such individual. And that's part of why we decided to do this uh, uh, training to say, how do some of you learn opportunities you can take advantage of? E-commerce is one of those businesses that is real. Let me ask you a question. The richest man in the world, who is he and what does he do? Okay. The richest man in the world, who is he and what does he do? Can anybody answer that, that question? Who is the richest man in the world and what is he into? Okay, let me see, let me see. But I, I have answers. Who is, by the way, Jack Ma is now about, I think, 100 billion richer than even Bill Gates, who is number two. It's actually Jeff Bezos. I'm shocked some people are still mentioning Bill Gates. Jack Ma is like 100 billion richer than Bill Gates right now. Okay, Jeff Bezos, chairman or C, or you know whatever of Amazon. What is the business of Amazon? What business is Amazon into? Okay, why did I reach? Amazon is into e-commerce. So hey, remember, I've always taught you guys, success is replicatable. Just look for people who are successful, check what they are doing and replicate what they are doing and you're on your way to success. There's nothing complex about success. If somebody's successful, check what he's doing, replicate it, and you'll be successful. Look at what's going on right now with Bua. Okay, Bua Group is getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the day. And what is Bua doing? There's nothing unique or different that Bua Group is doing. Bua is just replicating what Dangote is doing. Okay, is Dangote doing cement? Bua is doing cement. This time around, they make sure their own cement is stronger than that of Dangote. When you, when you mix Bua cement, right? You don't need one day or two days before the thing solidify. In a few hours, it's already strong. So all that Bua is doing, and Bua has joined the full list of billionaires. All that Bua is doing is to just, you know, be one, do something to improve what Dangote is already doing. So when they say people becoming billionaires and becoming rich, all you need to do is ask yourself, those who are rich, what are they doing? Study it. And you just add something on top and replicate it and you're on your way there. So the richest man in the world is doing the commerce business. Can I start my own e-commerce business in my own little way? And you're on your way to building wealth. There's nothing complex about it. 
Okay? So, but if you don't get that model, you will listen to people who have never been successful in their lives. They will give you stupid advice. You will make all the mistakes. You will remain poor and you still blame those people. Say, ah, it's my fault. Oh, I listened to the wrong set of people. But did they force their ideas on you? It was your choice whether you're going to do it or not. How many of you are ready for today? If you're ready, type, I am ready. I am ready. Come on, guys, talk to me. If you're ready for today, type, I am ready. So my name is Steven Akintayo. Um, this is the sixth day. These are some of my mentees who have been amazing and I've been around all this while to share with you guys so that you know that this is not a business that I'm just the only one successful. I've raised people too. People have learned from me. Uh, I'm Stephen Axel, of course, most sought after investment coach, digital marketing consultant, uh, business coach, I mean, <clears throat> philanthropist, author. I've written 35 books, um, you know, and um, I do a lot. I'm the MDC of GTS Global and the lead consultant, Stephen Axel Consulting, right? Um, I started my business with Bok SMS 12 years ago, started with, you know, a thousand naira, and I've grown it to multi billion naira. My breakthrough happened 2015 when I did over 100 million. And since that time, I never looked back. You know, for example, and, and it's very important that you know that. I'm not if you agree with me that if you can do 100 million and, or even 30 million, this is a single check of 30 million. I'm not if you can see the 30 million, single transaction I did in, 30, in 2015. You know, and that was on my birthday, January 28th. By the end of that year, I've done about 200 million. Things really changed. But I many of you agree that if you make a sale in your business of 30 million and you still become poor after that time, they must be doing your village. If you agree, type I agree. <laughs> okay. If you do a sale of 30 million and you still find yourself in poverty, they must be doing you. Right? Something really, 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 really is wrong. Uh, but it happens, by the way, and it happens to people who are not what we call financially intelligent, because there's something called financial intelligence. It's a process of learning about to make, manage, and multiply money. And if you don't know how to do it, um, you're going to make a big, big mistake. Wow, good to see Elijah M. says, I'm in Germany, already bought your book on e-commerce. Nice to have you. Stay blessed. Good to know. That, I mean, my book, by the way, people outside Nigeria buy my book, even more than those of you in Nigeria. Um, you know, most of my books are Amazon best-selling. Amazing, amazing, amazing book. So, but I need to also say I was consistent. Okay, I've been doing this uh, book SMS business for seven years before I made my first 100 million. Um, we never knew COVID would happen. I was still in Harvard University earlier this year for the African Business Conference in Harvard. Uh, we know that COVID will happen. Um, so, but that's reality. I've met several great people in my life. Um, but one of the things I have realized is that even these great people are also looking for people who are great. You see, nobody wants to associate with a mediocre. Okay? Nobody wants to associate with a nobody. People want to associate and identify with successful people. Right, this was uh, during our 10th year anniversary as a company we went to uh, present an award to Chief, uh, Chief uh, Obasanjo, right? Baba is a very controversial man, but trust me, he's one of the most pro-business presidents we've ever had. And this Professor Patu told me, Dr. Peba and myself, this was 2016 in New York, where the three of us were guest speaker uh, at an event, okay? Um, I, I believe so much in helping people who can help themselves. Um, we're reaching out to orphans, you know, IDP camps, the most vulnerable in the society. I think God gives you money so that you can help other people. I'm not if you agree with me. Um, but when I say help other people, you need to balance it. You might think, think you are trying to help people, but you are actually creating problems. And I see people make that mistake, right? For example, you make some money and you begin to give free money to your family members. Why do you want them to work? They will never work. They will just always be relying on you to keep giving them money, right? 
So when it comes to people who are able, physically able, what you do is to change, teach them how to fish. Can everybody type it on the, on the um, chat box? Everybody type, teach able people how to fish. Everybody, I want you to type it. Teach able people how to fish. That's your job. When you meet able people and they ask you for fish, tell them, no, 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 no. I will teach you how to fish. Miss Patricia is here and she's soon going to share a story with you. Imagine how, you know, they used to be based in the north. They moved to, um, to Lagos, right? Imagine when they met, um, she met me, okay, and my wife. Imagine if all we did was to say, yeah, ah, we two were growing up in the north. So sorry about your story. Yeah, take one million naira. Right, that one million naira now will have been finished, right? And she will have still be looking for another money. But because she did not get money from us, rather, in fact, she paid to be taught, what she got from us was how to fish. And today she's constantly able to, in fact, she's built massive business empire today, right? Toby Okunuga is also joining us here is in Cyprus. Imagine when Toby met me also. I started issuing money. Oh, I broke. Take money. Right? Today is in Cyprus doing his master's by himself. Right? With nobody's support. Will he have been able to sponsor his master's in Cyprus today and take care of himself and pay his bills? No. And whatever money I will have given him will have been finished. So when you see able people, people, nothing wrong with them physically. They can read, they can write, they have two, two hands. They are adults. You don't need to give them money. Teach them how to fish. Let me tell you those you should give fish to. So you go to Ajegunle, you see children, right? Whose parents are poor and there's nothing they can really do to change their own story. You want to reach out to such people. Who can you send to school there? You go to orphanage homes. The, it's not the fault of these children that they are orphans and there's nothing they can do to change their own story. So you want to help such people. You go to IDP camps, like in Meduguri, there are several IDP camps, internet displaced people. These people already, their village has been ravaged, burnt down. You want to help those people because there's nothing they can do to help themselves. But as somebody could get phone, could get data and be chatting you on Facebook, that is a, a single mother of three, send me money, to, here's my account. For you to have access to data, for you to have a good phone that can browse, okay, go, and, go, go and start marketing. Look for a product and start selling online. And that's what e-commerce is about. Some of you can start this business even with, by partnering with other people who are into e-commerce. Okay? So, um, and, and this is very real. How many of you are excited about today's class? If you're excited, tap on the site. In Stephen Hakintayo's class, I just want to say, let him keep coaching you. Hopefully, he's putting you on the right track. I just met the man. I think he's amazing. What's up? <laughs> Hello, there, you, awesome. there you go. All right, get focused. Yeah. Now, this guy has done over $6 billion in transaction. I left Nigeria and flew to Florida to meet him. And I want you to write this down. Okay? Look for billionaires that you can learn from. Everybody write it down. Many of you, your problem is that all your role models are poor people. What do you think will happen to you? A dog will give birth to a dog, a lion to a, a what? A lion, a sheep to a sheep, a goat to a goat. A billionaire will give birth to a billionaire. It's as simple as that. Many of you are struggling because you do not have billionaires as role models. So everybody writes it from today. I vow to look for billionaire role models. Everybody write that down. This is one of my own role models. I'll tell you why. He's the only black guy on Shark Tank. Shark Tank is a business show where people learn how to get people to invest in their business or attract investors. Only black guy till date to be on that show. He must know something. Now, what's also unique about him, he also started his business with about $40, just similar to mine where well, I started my with about $10, 1,000 naira. So there's a lot to learn. And I need you to start looking for organic entrepreneurs like that. Not to be looking for politicians who stole money and are now rich. 
And then you say, those are your mentors. Look for people that can tell you how they started from zero to hero. Start, at least start with, let them be your role model because I won't say mentor. A mentor, you need one-on-one -on -one with a mentor and it costs you money or time to be able to attract a mentor. But get somebody, okay, that you can be looking up to and say, one day I want to be like this person. Now, this is Ms. Patricia, who is um, the uh, main uh, um, mentee who is going to share on e-commerce today. And, and you can see, how many of you can see that transaction, the one on top, 2.3 million, the one below, 1.5 million. She attended the webinar like this. She will still tell you it by herself, just like you are watching, and decided to pay for coaching class after the webinar. In fact, she you know, had to force her husband, get money here, gather the money. And in the first month, she was able to get a company to supply a, a product worth 3.6 million. And the rest is history. Today now, the story has changed. You see her now, her skin is shiny, 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 shiny. Money has come. <laughs> Here is also another mentee in this same e-commerce business um, who, um, you know, 20, as of January 15, okay, in 2019, she's done 20 million single transaction in the same e-commerce. She supply electronic gadgets to our client. Here's another client, another student, sorry, 70 million single transaction in this same e-commerce business, right? So whenever we come here and teach you about business, we are teaching from our wealth of experience. These are not uh, trainings, that um, you know they are teaching theories. These are real. These are things we've tasted. These are things we've handled. It has worked for us, and it has worked for those who are humble, okay, and paid the price to also learn from us. So, how many of you think you will be the next? Okay, type I'm the next. I'm the next. I'm the next person. Okay, type I'm the next. COVID nineteen is real, and it has affected different parts of the world. A lot of industry have been affected like aviation, religious organization, entertainment, sport, you know, but some other industry are earning big time. One of the biggest winners of COVID-19 is e-commerce. And that's why Bill Gates, I mean, Jeff Bezos one day added $4 billion to his wealth in one day, Jeff Bezos during this COVID-19. Because the lockdown of course made more people to begin to do e-commerce, to begin to rely on e-commerce to pay bills and all of that. So you look at communication sector, look at agriculture sector, healthcare, hydroponics, pharmaceuticals, educational sector, infrastructure solutions, financial inclusion solutions, fintech innovation. These are many sectors that benefited from COVID-19. They did better. So what is this whole e-commerce? What are we talking about? E-commerce is also known as electronic commerce or internet commerce, referred to buying and selling of goods and services using the internet and the transfer of money data to execute these transactions. E-commerce is often used to refer to the sales of physical products online but it can also okay, describe uh, any, uh, of any other commercial transaction that facilitate through the internet, e.g. drop shipping, okay, um, is also one of such. Now, there are a lot of e-commerce sites like Shopify and several others. I want to show you guys something. How many of you know about 1111 in China? Okay, if you know about 1111 in China, type 1111. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, if you know about 1111, type 1111. Everybody knows that. Okay. Oh, good. So 1111 happens to be um, a regular event I had is started by um, Jack Ma, 
um, you know, of Alibaba. But what was shocking this year is actually the transaction this year. Okay, the transaction this year, let me see if I can find it. Um, unfortunately, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. The minister, you know, for that industry tweeted and somebody was showing me, they were able to process over hundred billion dollars, if I'm correct. Can somebody help me look for the total figure? Okay, of the transaction. I just don't want to quote something wrong. Okay, the total figure of the transaction this year. Okay, during 11 11, it was crazy. In one day, in one day, over, I think about 600 million transactions were processed. You know, it was crazy. When you look at the, and, and you know the funny thing about uh, um, the e the commerce sector <laughs> is that, and that's what's shocking to me, it's just starting. You know, it's just starting. It's, it's just, you know, um, <laughs> it's just starting. We've, we're just even about to scratch the surface of the e-commerce world. Thank you. Somebody has been able to put it, but I'm going to look for it. I still put it on my account. It's over $100 billion. Miss Patricia, have you seen that tweet by the Chinese uh, minister? I think Emmanuel Lushola posted it on his wall, but I'm, I'm not able to find it now. You know, but it's over massive transaction in one day. So the money is in e-commerce. However, what is also drop shipping? So that for the purpose of lecture, so you understand all these terminologies. Drop shipping is an order fulfillment method that does not require a business to keep product in stock. Instead, the store sells the product and passes it on, passes on the sales order to the third party supplier who then ship the order to the customer. So in the case of drop shipping, you are a middleman. You have somebody who can supply whatever it is that is being marketed, but you front as the person selling. And once a purchase is made, you pass it on to the third party supplier who will then ship the order to the customer on your behalf. So you are just in the middle, okay? You are in the middle. This way, you don't have cost. You don't keep, you know, the product. You don't have inventory cost. You don't have all these, you know, bills that you are putting up and down um, where you are spending so much trying to keep goods in warehouses and things like that. I don't know if you are learning. If you are learning type, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Everybody talk to me. If you are learning type, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. I love engagement. Um, and today is the last day. If you, even your enemy invite them. I've always shared this. Your enemy hates you because they are poor. That's why they have your time. Okay, rich people don't have time to gossip. Listen to me. I have been poor and I'm rich. I have never seen a single rich gossiper. I've not seen one. One rich gossiper, I've not seen. So your enemy has your time because they don't have job. They are broke. There's no money. Have you been to where poor people live? There's a lot of gossip now. There's a lot of envy. So do you want to eradicate, you know, your enemy will stop hating you when they are rich and they have money. So even your enemy should be invited to come and watch this. I say, they are enemy. I know we're enemies. But Dr. Steven taught me that we will stop being enemies once you have money. I have, <laughs> I have discovered a training that can make you rich, okay? Kindly register and attend. I'm not kidding you, okay? I'm, this is real. I don't have any enemies. Maybe they may be, but I don't know them. I'm too busy to even know, <laughs> okay? But, but if I know you are my enemy, I promise you, I'm gonna find a way to teach you something. Because once you have something to do, you have my time. Okay, so how does drop shipping work? 
Step one, your customer place an order from your platform, right? Your customer place an order from your own online store. Step two, your customer automatically send the order. I mean, you, you are able to automate, your store is able to automatically send your order, okay, to the drop shipping supplier. Step three, your drop shipping supplier prepare your customer's order. Step four, your drop shipping supplier directs your order to the customer. Okay, so your customer is able to get. So in one, uh, in four step, this entire thing is done. So no more upfront inventory cost or shipping logistics with drop shipping. Product are sent directly to uh, the wholesaler and then from your wholesaler to the customer. Now, benefit of drop shipping. Less capital is required, easy to get started, low overhead, flexible location, wide selection of products to sell, easy to test, easier to scale. What are the disadvantage? Low margins, right? You don't make much profit with drop shipping because again, everybody knows the price already. So you can't just bamboozle people to pay you a lot higher than the normal market price, right? Number two is inventory issues. Sometimes you order for A and then they send to your customer B because those wholesale companies have so many things, transaction they are processing. So it can be quite some issue. Number three, uh, shipping complexities, right? In the course of shipping, somebody's goods gets to another person and all of that. Number four, supplier error. You know, so the even sometimes even customer error who makes the mistake. I want blue, but it's actually black. They mean by the time they see the black, the blue, they say no, no, it's black. I ordered number five, limited customization and branding. So sometimes it's difficult for the wholesaler to be able to brand those products in your name because you still want them to know you. Else they won't come back to you again if they know that there's a third party supplying the thing. So sometimes the process of customization and branding becomes an issue, okay? Um, by the way, how many of you notice that one of the things that I have, you must have noticed in these last six days is that there is no perfect business. <laughs> if you notice, type I notice, right? How many of you notice that there is no perfect business? One of the things you've learned in these past few days, if you notice, type I notice. There's no perfect business. Those of us who are into business, we are, on the, we are successful because we are always changing, evolving. Things, you know, we are, are, are responding to the dynamics of business, right? We understand that dynamics. And that's how we are, we are where we are today. Um, so back to the class. So how does this business work? So I'm going to do some price comparison here. Okay, so you look at this same product. Um, Abyssola, um, okay. Next time you could help me um, just convert the, the Chinese to dollars so that it's easy to, you know, just do the contract. So, but everybody, right. let's um, try and do the conversion to, together. So can you convert nine Chinese uh, yuan to USD. So use your calculate, uh, use your, just go to Google, you see currency converter on Google. Okay. Now I know all these things, Mrs. Patricia has crammed them. They are all in her head. So she can just convert ASAP. You know. <laughs> Nine, $1.36. Sorry. $1.36. Now yes, see, how I many of you agree that it's the same product? If it's the same product type, the same product, the same product. So this same product that is, you can buy on this Chinese website that we teach our student for one dollar what? One dollar what? One dollar thirty six cents. One dollar thirty six cents is being sold yes, on Amazon for ten dollars ninety nine cents. So what happened is that you are able to make clearly nine dollars profit. I don't know if you think this is cool, cool business. We think it's cool business type, cool business. So let's try and do some calculations here. 
So if I'm able to sell 10,000 pieces of this product and I make $9 in profit, I've made $90,000. Even if you're able to sell just 1,000 pieces, ladies and gentlemen, you have made your first $9,000. Is this a cool business or not? If it's a cool business type, it's cool business, it's cool business. And that's how uh, um, e-commerce work. You're able to buy it cheaper somewhere, sell it on these other big companies at a high price. And one of the things I teach, I teach a hybrid of mini importation and drop shipping. So if you're in the US and the UK, in all these companies, in these countries, you're outside Nigeria. I'm not if you're outside Nigeria, by the way. If you are outside Nigeria type, I am outside Nigeria. I just want to even um, have understanding of, if you're outside Nigeria, just type, I'm outside Nigeria, I'm outside Nigeria. I just want to know how many of us are outside Nigeria. By the way, if you're in Nigeria, what favors you is to just do mini importation. But if you're outside Nigeria, you can still do what I call a hybrid of mini importation and drop shipping. And I'll share with you some of the strategy. So you buy this from the website that I just showed you. And, and this is a powerful, very, very powerful uh, um, strategy. And I have several students who has done it. You buy this from this website. Where, when they ask you for where to ship it, you create, your, of course, your account on Amazon. When they ask you where to ship it, you ship it straight to Amazon warehouse, right? Amazon will charge you a token, but Amazon then warehouse it for you. And you still go ahead and sell the same product on Amazon. So what you then notice is at the end of the day, you will still make $9, you know, or let's even say $8 in profit, or even $7 is still something. And yet you are not holding product. Amazon is the one warehousing your product for you. Amazon is still, the transaction is still being processed on Amazon, okay? And, and so everything is just done that way. All you will just need to do is to pick your Amazon store, the link to your Amazon store, and keep promoting it and learn very well how to do this business. And please let me stop here and say, all the business I've taught you in the last uh, six days, if you don't have a mentor, you might not succeed. In fact, your chance of succeeding drops by 90%. And I'm telling you the truth here. This has nothing to do with trying to convince you to join a coaching program. It's just the truth. You can't do it alone. Success doesn't happen alone. Let me show you also another product. What we are doing here is price comparison so that you can just see all these prices, right? So I am not of you agree, these glasses are the same. If they are the same type, they are the same. Um, please let me convert it to Naira. This one is Naira now. On Jumia.com, this glass is going for 6,000 Naira. On the website that I, I teach my student, this glass is going for seven um, Chinese Yuan. Okay? Now, um, oh yeah. It's 403 Naira, so it's in Kobo. Wow. <laughs> Guys, can you believe that? 400 and what? 3 Naira, 17 Kobo. 403 Naira, 17 Kobo. Oh yeah, add, let's even add 500 Naira for logistics, bringing it to Nigeria. That means you're able to buy it for let's say 1,000 Naira and you're making 5,000 Naira profit. So if you can sell, let's even just say 200 pieces of this and you're making 5,000 Naira profit. For those of you in Nigeria now, Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's your first one million era. And even what I shared that you can do with Amazon, do you know you can even still do the same thing with Jumia? You bring your goods from China, load it on your Jumia store, make sure you promote the store very well, and Jumia will still house, warehouse the product for you. Or um, um, you guys are not promoting my own e-commerce site. Too. I didn't see Genido here, right? I also have an e-commerce site just like Jumia, genido.com. So you can do the same with us. We will even help you keep your goods for free. You don't need to pay us one error. So from the above figure, you will see the kind of profit margin here, right? You see that it's going for 6,000 error. Uh, 
you know, Priscilla, I say, Mr. Stevie, don't leave me. I'm not leaving you. That's why I'm training you now. Can I? <laughs> don't leave me challenge. Obviously, I'm not leaving you. That's why I'm training you. That's why I'm here. It's because I'm not leaving you. That's why I'm here. I mean, I'm here for you, giddy back. <laughs> okay, so let's do more comparison. So that you can see when you hear people are making money, right, in this business, it's no joke. Okay, it's no joke. This is how. Um, so let's do this. How many of you agree? This shoe, are they the same? The two shoes, are they the same? If they are the same type, they are the same. They are the same. Okay? The two shoes, are they the same? So you see on this website, you can buy it for 78 Chinese yuan. While on conga.com in Nigeria, it's going for 23,500. And this is why I love about e-commerce business. You can do this e-commerce business anywhere in the world anywhere in the world, even if you're in Iran, you can do e-commerce. Libya, you can do e-commerce. So, uh, so how much is that? 78 Chinese yuan is how much in Naira? It's 4,492 Naira for six Kobo. So let's even wrap it up to, let's say 5,000, right? So the person is buying the shoe for 5,000. We have also added logistic costs, but let's even add another you know, 1,000 again on logistics. So that's 6,000, buying it for 6,000, right? How much yes. profit when you move 6,000 from 23,500? Ladies and gentlemen, this person is making a whooping profit, Chineke Mo, of 17,000 naira. Cash per piece, okay? So if you sell just 100 pieces, of this, let's not go too far. Hundred pieces only, hundred times seventeen thousand. Okay, that's one point seven million. How many of you will be happy if you can make one? You know, one point seven million. If you'll be happy, type I will be happy. <laughs> Let me see how many of you will be happy to be able to make one point seven million extra income. How many of you will be happy? Okay, if you'll be happy, type I'll be happy. Oh, beautiful. A lot of people are saying they'll be happy. So again, mock price comparison. Now this is um, another product is mascara, mini mascara. And this is going for 2,400 on Jumia. But on this website is going for 15 Chinese yuan. That's how much? 15 Chinese yuan. That's 863 Naira, 93 Kobo. 863 Naira, 93 Kobo. Beautiful. Let me even say cost of shipping everything. Uh, 1,400. 1, this person is still making 1,000 Naira profit. If she sells 200 pieces, that's 200,000 Naira. Right? If she's able to um, sell 1,000 pieces, that's one millionaire. So it depends on which product that you pick, but you can make good money in this business. Before I go on in this, I know some of you will ask me this question. If everybody knows this business, will anybody ever patronize anybody? The answer is yes. I taught Miss Patricia this business, myself and my wife, but guess who so suit for me? Okay, Miss Patricia, guess where she buys the suit from? The same website I taught her. So the question, why am I still buying from her? Is that I can't be selling every product on e-commerce now. Everybody will still have to focus on one product. And she has mastered the business of being able to sort out quality suits. And she knows how to cut them and make them look good on me. I still patronize her. I think... I just told her to help me get five suits or something, you know, so I see by. So don't think because people know about this website. It's a, you see, it's a poor man thinking, right? If everybody knows this thing, they will not, you know, I, I, I've heard people came on social media who started fighting me. Now, why am I teaching this business to people that I'm spoiling their business, that people will not be doing business with them if they know this website. 
that you know, Mr. Stevie is not right. You are spoiling our business. And I laughed and I said, that's not true. You will still be able to do your business. Those who patronize you will still patronize you if you know what you're doing, okay? That people even know about this does not mean they will use it. Let me shock you. 90% of you, in fact, 99% of you watching me today, we still not do anything about this business in the next six months. It's not a cost. It's just how human beings work. You will give all the excuses why you can't do it. All the excuses. In fact, you, guess what you, many of you will do today? You will call your friend that is not doing this business and you're going to be seeking counsel from that poor friend. And you will, many, you will still do it today. You call, this, uh, ah, my, my best friend, hey, Mama Jik, J, uh, Lissica, how are you? Ha, you believe you come my year. There's one man, Dr. Steven. He taught me e-commerce. You know, I can be making money. Ah. That was it. Eh? Where? Nigeria. In this country. <laughs> Sorry, I'm speaking Yoruba. But all that I'm saying is that many of you watching me will still call your good for nothing friend. That has never added value to you in your life, but for whatever reason you have decided to be friends with them. That are never positive in their thinking and the way they see life, you will still call them after this class. And with all the excitement and what you have learned, they will pour cold water on you. By the time they are done talking to you, the everything I've spent hours teaching you is gone. Gone. You will still do it. 99% of you will still not do this. You will still go to ShopRite and buy clothes. You still go to Walmart, to those of you in the US. You will still go and buy, even though you have known that this is what we do. Right? It's just the way. So that's why the poor will always be the poor. The rich will always be rich. The secret is one, provide solutions, products and services to help the other. The other decide to consume. Let me tell you this. Secrets to wealth, consumption equals poverty, production equals wealth. Everybody, I want you to type that on the screen. Consumption equals poverty, production equals wealth. Once you keep producing values, you will become wealthy. Once you keep consuming, you become poor. I mean, I look at it. On this show now, I've been here for six days. 99% of you e-commerce book you have not bought. Okay, go and watch the video again, at least three times on YouTube, you have not done. Eh? If I tell university, you have not joined. Jo coaching program, you have not. And many, some of you even have the money in your account, but you not just not just do it. What if, what if it doesn't work? And, and that's the, the secret of poverty. That's why people are poor. Your, but guess the funny thing with many of us, it's just unfortunate. The same 7,000 you used to buy a book, you go and use it to do your hair, today, today, not tomorrow, today, today. Some of you use 10,000 to buy a week, 20,000 to buy a week, yet you can't buy a book, right? So, and then you are wondering why you are poor, right? You can't join coaching program, Okay, for 400,000 naira. Christmas has come. You will spend at least 500,000 to shop for you, your husband, your family, so that everybody look good. Poor people buy what they don't need to impress people that don't care. That's why they're poor. Buy what you don't need, impress people who don't care, complain and blame everybody for the reason why you're poor. Continue. <laughs> so, top trending drop shipping tools. Power tools, tech supplies, lifestyle niche, beauty and health, drone and accessories. So these are basically the niches. Can everybody type the money is in the niches? Everybody type the money is in the niches. So the money in every business, particularly e-commerce, is in the niche. Picking a particular niche that you're going to do, focus on. Okay? Successful drop ship, shipping equals to impulse buying plus buying power plus trending products. So if you want to be successful in this business, people will do impulse buying. And this is one of, 
things people don't realize. This whole income mass thing is purely a function of imports spending. This Christmas period is the period people are going to do e-commerce business like no man's business. They will buy till Jesus come. And many of them impulse. So instead of you being the one giving people money, why can't you to sell something, offer a product so that somebody is paying you? All those of us, you say we are rich. We are not rich by magic. We are rich because we are offering you services. I am rich because I am training you. So you have to join my coaching. I've written 35 books. I'm selling land. I'm selling houses. I have e-commerce. I do logistics. I am providing services and I'm making money. What are you offering the world? What service are you selling? What are you selling that can, you know, bring money your way? That's the question you need to answer. But these are great niche. You know, being able to anything like power bank, you know, batteries, good. Tech supplies, right? Technology, lifestyle niche, right? Beauty, like, you know, makeup, health niche, drone and accessories, phone accessories, big. Do you know that mini importation is one of the hottest business in the world aside online gas? This e-commerce, drop shipping, mini importation, whatever name you want to call it, is the biggest business right now. Okay? Well, Amazon is richer and way, way richer than you know, than, than uh, uh, what's it called, ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is over 100 years old. Even Netflix is now richer than ExxonMobil. Oil and gas is gone, okay? Because most countries import over 65% of what they use. A lot of you agree with me that Nigeria probably imports 80%, if not more, of what we use. We import everything. Everything is imported. Politicians literally go to Dubai to shop for weddings. May God have mercy on African leaders. Can everybody type amen? Okay, for those who are asking for my book, just go to my website, stevakitao.com or go to amazon.com and type stevakita. You see all my 35 books there. So factors to consider before going into either drop shipping, e-commerce, mini importation, you need to consider these things. Number one, never go into mini importation business without a target market in mind. Never do it, okay? Don't do it. Before you think of importing any product, always have a target, a, a marketing plan, no matter how small it is. This is the product I'll be buying. This is where I will buy it from. This is where I'm gonna be selling it. You know, very simple plan. Understand also the market that you are going into. There is a st different strategy that you use for selling human hair. It is not the same as selling suits. It's not the same as selling shoes. It's not the same as selling makeup product. They are different industries, right? One of the celebrities, you know, that I mentor in this business, she, she will keep wearing clothes every day. She makes sure she, you know, wear the clothes she's selling. And she has big following on social media and take pictures and post them. As people see them, they say, I want that dress. I want this dress. I want that dress. And that's how she's making money. So don't forget, do not try to import everything. Focus on a niche. If it's only human hair, focus on only human hair. If it's shoe, focus on only shoes. Don't do anything outside shoe. If it's only suit, focus on only suit, nothing else. Let me ask you this question before I continue. How many of you think today's class will change your finances forever? If you think so, type Today's class will change my finances forever. Come on, everybody talk to me. How many of you think today's class will change your finances forever? If you think it will, type it will, okay? Again, honestly, if you can't do something again with all these things you are learning, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, they probably need to, if you are from Africa, where you believe that witches in your village are attacking you, I agree with you that if you go and wash your, your head in the river, right? If you still cannot achieve something tangible, from today's webinar, I give up, right? I really, really do give up because these are real opportunities. They are real. They are tangible. They are there, right? They are there. And people are leveraging on it. If you think you can succeed, you are right. If you think you can't, you are right. 
So again, the green niche, the niche that are always doing well is fashion, beauty, health, electronic gadgets, security item, gift item, it's Christmas, gift item. Just focus on one niche and move on. Okay, just one niche. Like this Christmas season, you can do gift items. Companies will do hampers. Just go and be submitting proposals to companies. I can help you do customized hampers, right? And that's it, okay? So make rich, um, uh, basically two issues about this niche concept. There is the make rich quick niche, which I've mentioned earlier. Then find a problem and provide the solution to it. Some of the websites you can get all these, uh, um, you know, very cheap product from. You have 6pm.com, kata.com, overstock.com, payless.com, wish.com, amazon.com. Cellular country. Cellular country is for phone accessories. Amazing phone accessories here. Bestbuy.com, dx.com, ipmax.com, this Singapore, this Singapore uh, uh, um, um, site. Everbuying.com, lightinthebox.com. Please also note, do not buy heavyweight items. So this one is for those of you who want to go into car business. Okay, auctionexports.com is a very good site if you want to go into importing cars. You see fairly used cars, you can bid for the car. If you win the bid, you bring the car, you can fix them and make money. There are a couple of rules. Don't buy cars that have accident from the front. Don't buy cars that does not start from the auction. Okay, there are a couple of rules. You can join the coaching class. You will learn more about all these principles. Okay. Um, so how many of you are excited and would like to join my coaching program? Okay. How many of you would like to join my coaching program where you will be taught by, you know, experts in my team? how to really succeed in this business. If you would like to type me, 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 me. Well, you need to know nothing of value is free. Okay. Um, the coaching program is not free. I can only give you discount. Nothing of value is free. Anything of value costs at a cost. So yes, you want to join the coaching program is not free. You pay. I am a businessman. I have bills to pay also, and I'm in business to make profit. If I care, I can give you discount. That's all. If I am not also making money, you, are, you will not even listen to me. If you agree, tap, I agree. You are listening to me because I've been able to structure how to make money. And you do want to make money. And you want to make money, of course, you have to also spend money to learn what I've learned. Let me say this. Um, I uh, the you know, I've spent more than $50,000 to learn about this business. From going for seminars to trainings across the world, it has cost me that much. 50,000 US dollars over, right? For you, you don't need to spend that much because you have me. You can spend a little lot less um, and still know what I know. And this is how success works, a little much less. So my coaching is $10,000. It's hand-caught by my team, a very amazing team. Also, we always have guests as appearance by my mentees. Those I've also mentored who are doing well. I also do once a month personally with you guys where I take questions. Uh, and you can join. This definitely can be a game changer. But I'm going to allow you to get 90% discount. So you pay just $1,000. Now, I need you to know that mentors have experience you can learn from to prevent you from making mistakes. Mentor help you to succeed faster. A business mentor gives you a model to follow. How many of you have heard that people lost money in e-commerce or mini importation business? If you have heard type one, if you have not heard type two, people lose money, don't get it twisted. In fact, there was a, one of my mentees in, in Edo State, he had lost two million before he met me. All that he imported it was an iPad. Every of the iPad were fake, were toys. Two million before he met me. So this business, you will lose money if you don't have a mentor. 
you don't have somebody to guide you and you think because you know the website to go to, what do you need a mentor for? Well, penny wise, pound foolish. That's why most people do. That's why a lot of you will be shouting, business doesn't work, business doesn't work. The truth is that who is your mentor in that business? Or, or you just saw that they said the people are making money in the business. You jump into the business, you lose money, and then you're wondering why you are failing. There's no business I do without getting a mentor. And that mentor always earns something. So today's offer, instead of 10,000, you can pay $5,000 for today's offer. However, the first 10 of you to pay today, you can pay $1,000, you know, which they decided to reduce to 367,000 Naira. So if you pay 367,000 Naira, you will be able to get access to this coaching program and you're on your way to success. And if you say, but what if it doesn't work? Well, all I can say, I can show you somebody that has done it and it has worked for her. That's all. I really don't know how to um, really give plenty stories. I just don't know. Um, Abisola, this is your slide. Can you uh, update it? Payment details is not here. Abisola, I told you to check this thing out and be sure this thing works. So, but guys, you can do transfer to this account. Um, ignore the 600,000, it's 367,000 naira. You can do transfer. It appears at the end of the slide, sir. I, I'm at the end. Where is it? The, okay, before the, yes, sir. This one? But yes, there's no link for those who want to use their card to pay. The link is not there. Okay, so um, those who want to use their card to pay, the link is not there. So if you want to pay, these are the details. Um, make sure once you make payment, send evidence of payment. And you have several emails. There's support at civactel.com. There's uh, products at civactel.com. There's info. You need to harmonize all these things. And I need to go back to all the slides and just harmonize all these things. But guys, either one, they're gonna attempt to you. So support, these are the details. Uh, I'm gonna bring up Mrs. Patricia. Also later, I'm gonna also go around, you know, today is the last day for all the various offer that we have. Uh, um, all the coaching program goes back to the normal price uh, after today. So if you don't pay after, you know, during this coaching program, you call the office, you just pay the normal price. Okay, um, that is just it. We've decided because of today's class, reduce all these things, you know, give this can so that as many people who really want to do this are serious about their lives, can do this. I always say this, if you are not serious, if your life is not worth investing 400,000, $1,000 to learn, if your finances is not worth it then, you're not serious about building wealth, okay? It's just about how you see it. So I'm gonna bring up Miss Patricia. She's one of uh, my students who has done very well. I'll let her speak. After that, um, I'll, I will start taking questions. Me and her will take questions. All other speakers we've had in the course of the six days will also come and you know, we'll all take all your questions. We can. At least we'll be here for another 40, 47 minutes to one hour to take questions. But ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mrs. Patricia Famorio. Come on, everybody, clap for her as she joins us. Unmute yourself. Everybody clap for her, come on, come on. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Yeah, thank you, boss. <laughs> thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I just want to, yes, of course, he has said everything. I am a proud mentee. And uh, I know I've done um, Dr. Stephen, I can tell you, proud. I know I've done him well. Yes. Yeah. Let me. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, uh, Monsurat Abibu is calling her, uh, Eliza. Maybe she, she looks quite so beautiful. She's not Miss. She's Mrs. <laughs> <with three. laughs> 
right? <laughs> if you are looking for a wife, it's not available. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you're here, you're listening to me. I don't know what um, you might be running a business already. You might be working, but we all know what our country is saying, especially if you're listening to me from Nigeria or what the global economy is saying. COVID-19 had come and it had had a toll on us and on, on, on the world economy. So right now, building other sources of income is no longer what you do out of a luxury, out of hobby. It is a necessity. It is a necessity. So if you have only one source of income, I don't know how you are buying rice, especially if you're in Nigeria. Rice, I hear they said it how much now. They just um, increased the pump price of oil and all of that. We're not here to talk about Nigerian issue. But, uh, but um, having more than one source of income is a matter of urgency. In fact, if you have only one source of income, you are, your, your, your finances is in a state of emergency, I would say. So one of the ways in which you can improve your finances is um, via e-commerce. E-commerce is a business model that um, it is not a get uh, rich uh, quick scheme. It is a business model where you can amass wealth legitimately and boom in a short while. That was what happened. I'm sure you saw the slide um, that my mentor was um, putting up the other time. That was what happened in my first month of mini importation. After I, I joined the coaching, I, I wouldn't um, want, I wouldn't bother taking you through all the stories and everything. <laughs> you mentioned a little bit of that. After I joined the coaching, my first month, I made a, I, I made some whooping millions. I'm sure you saw the, the, um, the, the evidence is the, the proof there and the bank and alert and all of that. And of course, if you, he, he mentioned something at the beginning. He said, if you made, when he was showing us him, his, uh, his uh, alert of 30 million era, he said, if you made 30 million era and then you do not improve on that and then there's something wrong with you, it is not village people. You are the village person that is, um, that is disturbing yourself. So of course, from then it had been better and better and better and better. I remember um, during the COVID-19 um, pandemic, in the midst of it and all of that, I was, I was in a fix. I, in fact, a lot of things I ran to him. <laughs> and one of the things he told me is that when you ever see a problem as a monster, your mind shuts down. And that's the truth. So most of you, the finances is a pro, ah, how this thing, how will I, ah, is the, the, the coaching fee is huge. How will I um, afford, your mind shuts down. But if you put your mind in a state of, uh, in a state where you are trying to find a solution, in a problem-solving state, I tell you, solution will come. I was telling somebody um, recently, I was, the person missed an opportunity because she couldn't raise an, a, a particular amount. And I told her, I said, you did not think enough. You did not think it was important enough. God forbid you have a health challenge now. And they say you should bring 500,000. I tell you that 500,000 will come. Either with GoFundMe or family and friends, you will look for that money. You will look for that money. <laughs> so, so if your finances is important to you, you will do whatever you have to do to make your life move forward. One thing you should understand also, if you are listening to me, is that your life, the, the progress of your life depends on you. There's a point you reach that even God cannot help you. Yes, God will show you the opportunity. He will bring the opportunity to you just like he has. When God put the children in the Garden of Eden, he said, okay, these are the fruits. He didn't tell them how to eat it. He didn't tell them how to boil the yam. He, didn't, he expected them to make a move. He expected them to do something with those things he put there for their own enjoyment. So when God brings opportunity, it is in your hand to find a way to solve it. God has put the uh, problem-solving capacity inside of you. So if you are listening to me, I know you can do it. Because I am... Um, 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 for instance, after that month, after that month, uh, it was after that month, I decided to diversify. I was making money from my gift items and procurement business. I decided to diversify into clothing line. And I tell you, times 100, times 500, what is 500? The, the coaching fee I paid, I have made over times. In fact, I can't keep track. I can't keep track, but they're in terms of millions and millions and millions. So imagine I, I looked for excuse. 
most times we are mentally lazy. We do not want to think and find and 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 seek out solutions to how we can come out of this predicament. I see people. Uh, people prefer to be um, professional internet <laughs> beggars rather than trying to source for ways they can um, improve their finances. So even if you are working, this is a business model you can do comfortably. Even if you are working in within within the first quarter of twenty. 20, before the pandemic start, I had made some good millions already within the first quarter of 2020. Meanwhile, um, so when the pandemic started, people like us were just pulling up and, and watching how things were unfolding. So if you, even if you are um, running a five to, a, or rather a nine to five uh, job, your job with your boss starts from nine to five. Yes, do it diligently, dedicate your time to work for your boss. You are being paid for that. Your own time starts from five to nine. He talked about how we, you can sell online. People are making massive, massive wealth from e-commerce. So leverage um, this opportunity. Okay, for instance, I am um, into gift items and procurement for, for uh, corporate organizations. I buy in bulk. Imagine some of these things that um, he's mentioning and you are seeing the profit margin. Imagine supply, you don't even need the stress of going to um, uh, going to sell one by one and all of that. Imagine supplying in bulk to companies, supplying in bulk to organizations, supplying in bulk. He also showed, uh, showed us a check of another mentee that was into um, um, phone accessories and stuff like that. Imagine supplying in bulk to other businessmen and women. Imagine positioning yourself. You cannot know, you cannot know all those ones by, by checking Google. You cannot. You need a mentor to hold your hand and show you the way. They always say what? And um, follow who no road, Abby. Follow who no road. If not, you're going to enter bush. So you always need a mentor. So we that have um, succeeded, that has uh, succeeded thus far, we had a mentor to hold our hands. We had a mentor to 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 to, to tell us, okay, this is what you should do. This is where you should scale. This is where you should hold back uh, on and all of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have questions, please begin to, uh, I'm here, I'll answer for oh, your questions. Let me clap for Mrs. Patricia. Uh, somebody says she looks stunning. Of course, if there's money, you look fine now. Of course, see, now you I'm know. shiny. <laughs> <laughs> if there's money, you look, many of you don't know how beautiful and handsome you are. It's poverty that is spoiling the show. <laughs> right? Honestly, you don't even know how, <laughs> If money comes, you will, you will know how handsome and beautiful you really are. Um, so yeah, yeah um, uh, some people are asking, you can go to the YouTube at Steve Hackital TV if you have missed some of the days, today's your first day. Um, go to um, Steven Hackital TV and you will see. Uh, like I said, for those asking again, we have already discussed it. The coaching is $10,000. We're allowing you to pay just $1,000 today, $367,000. Split the money. Yes, you can pay $150,000 today and spread the balance in 30 days. There's no discount. There's no, uh, somebody's asking, I'm a student. My friend, stop giving that. Go back to all the slides. I started just, business I'm as nice. a student myself. I started business as a student myself and stop giving excuses. Started business as a student. I remember chatting up with people. I used to go to their house, wash their car, clean their houses when I needed capital for my business. I told them what I'm trying to do. And many of them say, Stephen, I'm more than Stephen. In other words, that means it's a good, Stephen is a good boy. If he says he needs this money to do business, you know, I'm going to support him. And people say, like sending little, little money they had to support my business. But I had what we call social capital. If you cannot, Listen to me, let me say this again. If you cannot raise $1,000 to start a business, it's your character you need to change. It's not business you need to start. Let me say that again. If you don't, there's nothing wrong with that you do not have $1,000 to start a business. But if you cannot raise $1,000 to start a business, it is not business you need to start. It's your character you need to change. I raise, as a matter of months, hundreds of millions of naira every month to grow my business. Our, our real estate business 
grows by what we call crowdfunding. People watch what I do on social media and choose to invest. I raise hundreds of millions every month for my business with, from people that don't even know me. You know why? Social capital. I have built a name, a built relationship that people could trust. Why haven't you done that in your circle? Are you telling me there's nobody in your circle who can raise 500,000? The question is why can't they trust you to support you with that kind of money? Why can't they trust you that if they give you 500,000, six months later, you return their money with, a, with an interest? These are things we, oh, I, and by the way, I always teach these things because a lot of times we bring conversations that are not real. If you cannot raise certain money to, this is a business. It is not charity, it's a business that you're trying to start. Miss Patricia herself too, um, when she, she was to join the coaching, she didn't have the money. Miss Patricia, maybe you want to explain that. How you had to, you know, if I, she called her friends to say, okay, two friends, let's team together. You know, Miss Patricia, maybe you should share a bit about that. Because yeah, before, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I of course I said my husband usually laugh at me <laughs> that he, he was using that to make jest of me that ah that I didn't have good friends <laughs> that I didn't have friends just exactly what uh, Dr. Steven is saying. Look at your cycle. Then if you cannot find people in your cycle to raise money for you, then change your cycle. Change your cycle. Um, I didn't have money. I all my savings was like 30K or 40K, like, <laughs> like all of my savings, but I couldn't sleep. I was restless. I put pressure on my husband. He was able to, um, to give me the money. When I told him, one other thing that you must do is that if you are passionate about, especially if you are married, if you are passionate about, or, or even if you are single, if you are passionate about a business and you know what you are doing, people will buy into that vision. If you have been lousy, Nobody, yeah, yeah. if you have been a lousy, who, who you want to um, entrust you with money if you have been exactly. lousy? Yeah. yeah. So he was able to give me the money. I completed it. He saw the passion in me. He saw the fire. Every day I was talking about it. And he gave me the money. I completed it. You might not have a husband yet. You have friends. You have parents. You have uncles. You have people around you. So I completed the money and I started. And by the time he saw results, on that one, two months, by the time he saw results, he was all in in support um, um, for that business. Absolutely. I, I, I agree with you, Ma, that one of the bas basic um, um, challenges we often face when we try to start, because again, this is a business. It's not a, it's a business. And yes. business requires that you fund it. It's a business, right? It's a business. And, and I, can, I can tell you, go and check the most successful e-commerce coaches in the world. Go check it. There's none of them that charge $1,000, even during promo. Yeah. You know, me and my wife were at a training in the US. By the way, many of you don't know, we do trainings too. You just think we are coaches. Every, as I speak to you, I'm still running a coach, a program that cost me $5,000. Even I'm still running it till December. Right, so that we, we knowledge is not a destination; it's a journey. Every day we are spending money, we are upgrading our information. Me and my wife went for that kind of training, and when we mention how much we charge for coaching, they burst into laughter. The least person they charge you mm -hmm. for their coaching, because it, it, you can't put a price on what somebody knows. Yes. you cannot. You can't put a price on what somebody on somebody's wisdom. Is there wisdom? You don't know how much, like I said, I spent one fifty thousand dollars to know this too. So telling you to pay just a thousand dollars to know all that I know, is just a, a peanut. But you have to take your life serious enough to build relationship. Like I said, if you can't raise this money, then begin to work on your character. Next time you will be able to have relationship around your life, right? That can support you. I was a student when I started raising millions for business. So being a student, I started business as a student. But one thing people who were supporting me as a student kept saying, Stephen is a good boy. Is it, I would go greet some of them, wash their toilet, wash WC, wash their car, do all that. So whenever I say I need help, they know this is a serious minded young, young guy. And that he deserves all the support that they need to give. 
But many of us have not built that kind of lifestyle. We've always been selfish. We've never been there for our families and friends and our loved ones. So it's one day you go and meet, even the ones they've supported us in time past. How far? So please, you need to know where you are. Some of you don't need to start thinking of starting a business. Just start learning how to work on your character, how to build social capital, how to relate with people. That's just the truth. I remember having this conversation with, with my sister. She was to start a business, you know, and she's done several businesses like that and keep failing. And this time around, she has a way of just being aggressive about the thing. This one I must do. It must happen. Okay? And, and all those excuses, please, Prince Uchena, please leave me alone, right? I'm going to block you right now. I just told you I was a student when I started business, okay? I was a student. My first business in my life, I just finished secondary school. I just finished secondary school. And people supported me in that business. I just finished secondary school, okay? Go and Google my name. You see my story. So stop giving excuses. Being a student is not an excuse. Being a student is not an excuse. Business starts from what we call persuasion. The same way you need to persuade people to loan you money to start a business is the same attitude you need, okay, to be able to sell the products. So if you can't even know how to persuade people, right, to, to, to loan you money or to support your business, how do you so convince people to buy your product when you start the business? These are realities here. So there are certain things you don't need to start there. Some of you need to start by reading books on persuasion, reading books on marketing, reading books on, on how to raise capital for your business, character development, human relations. That's where you need to start. Everything that I've taught you this business does not mean you must start this business. And I'm telling you the truth. Life is in phases, men are in sizes. You live your size part time. Okay. Somebody said that if you, it takes you too long to get something, your network is poor, change it. Now you can see what I keep talking about. Two poor people cannot help them, themselves, right? Many of you, whenever I talk on social media, it's easy to begin to abuse me. Now you can see what we're talking about. You are poor, you can't raise $1,000, yet you don't even have friends that can help you raise that money. Something is wrong. Two poor people can't help themselves. If you see a good viable business, how many of you believe this is a viable business? If you believe type, I believe. Good. So if you now believe this is a viable business, okay, your inability to be able to get funding for that viable business speaks a lot to the categories and type of people you've associated with all this while. And you need to start changing that. And that's where you need to start from. Okay, that's where you need to start from. Um, yes, every of the coaching program we started with, except for the recharge and bill, um, is a thousand dollars. Okay, I'm going to do a quick recap. Toby Okunuga is here, um, so we'll take question. Now, the question I want to take is how to you can succeed in business and nothing about. Um, look at um, imagine are they are they Kunle? I want to answer your question. Somebody will tell me that 400,000 is too much to start a business. Yet, you blindly enter university, spend another four to eight years. You know how many months people have been on ASU strike now? And the cheapest private university in Nigeria will charge you 800,000 to 1 million. Yet, you go ahead and pay. Your parent paid you, pay that money for those of you who claim to be students. Some of you watching me who claim to be student, you paid more than 400,000 naira to get accommodation to pay your school fees in Osu or Lasu or whatever that you, 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 the school you go to. And you think that is okay. Now, after you finish school, right, you will still not get a job. It's not a cost. I didn't get a job. I spent eight years in Osu. There was no job when I finished school. My parents spent millions to send me to school. Millions. Okay? It doesn't make sense. 
You think it's okay to pay millions to Lasso and, and all those schools you go to, accommodation, everything. But you think it's too much to pay 400000 to start a business. Something is wrong there. That's the... So, again, it's not business you need to start. It's your mind that needs to be renewed. It's not business. Many of you watching me, you don't even need to start any business yet. You just need to first renew your mind and the way you reason and the way you think. Because the same way you want this coaching program to be cheap, even when you start the business, that's how cheap you will run your business and you will fail. And it's not a cost. Mrs. Patricia is here. Share, share with me, by the way, when Ms. Patricia was to start a clothing business, she may not know. And she reached out to my wife that she, she's thinking of selling her suit for 30000 because she's able to buy those suits at a cheap price. And I told my wife, I said, you better tell her to be premium, right? And, and by the way, for your information, if your suit had been 30000 I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been patronizing you. Can you share that story with us, Miss Patricia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, then I was getting my suits. These suits, of course, were quality because I had a good teacher. So <laughs> the suits were top notch, top quality. But I always had this fear of ah, people buy. Ah, let me not put too much. If I just put just a little overhead and let me just cover my cost. Let me start with the, from there. Let me get, okay, I was like, okay, let me, let me not even think of profit for now. Let me start from there. Let me build my clientele. And she sat me down, told me, no way. <laughs> when she saw the um, quality of, she said, these suits are quality. I should make them premium. Then I should, there's what we call a market segmentation in marketing, in, 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 in the business school. There's what we call market segmentation. She said, I should have a, a, a level of clientele. I should have a class of clientele who I'm going to service. And that was what helped me. That was the truth. So once you come near me and you're pricing 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, you are not, I just shift it to one side. You are not, you are not in my clientele because my products are top notch. So that was how I was able, and it made a lot of sense. I was able to make profit. I was able to break even. I was able to grow the brand. From there, I was able to create my own label because I was able to make profit. I was not just um, selling uh, Kobo Kobo. And, 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 and that's the truth because, and some of you will keep wondering will people buy, I, I mean, I think I just ordered five suits from you and I taught you the business because that's where people miss it. You think that, okay, if people know where I'm buying, if they know, they will not patronize me. I don't get it. I don't have time to now begin to shop for suit. I pass that level. And there are always people at that segment. Even if they know, they will say patronize you. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, but again, these things require mentorship. I tell people, I say, look, I don't even join coaching program that is less than $5,000 now. I don't. And I'll tell you the reason why. The cal cal caliber of people I will even meet there are not the kind of people I want that can move my life to the next level. So I intentionally join expensive coaching program. Number two, whoever is charging me so little, maybe they don't have results because the confidence of people to charge you much is a function of the level of value they want to give you. Yeah. Nobody will want to give you so much value and will charge you cheap. Many of you have tried coaching programs now on e-commerce after, after the coaching program. How much value did you get? Right, <laughs> Abi? The 10,000 coaching program. 20,000 coaching program, how much value? But when people know they are going to do everything to help you succeed, they are going to charge you well. It's just how it works. If I want to open all my secrets to you and help you to get to where I am, it has to cost you something. And let me tell you lastly, the reason why I charge, by the way, because most of the money all of you are paying now, is not even enough for me to pay my next school fees for my students. I, 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 I paid tuition fee of orphans and IDP camp. So most of this money still goes to charity. And I'll tell you why I charge very well. It forces your mandula and blogata to take the business serious. It's the truth. Ask Miss Patricia, after paying for class, even though she paid a tangible amount, the reason she took the class serious was even pitying her coach. 
Because she wouldn't have really, really taken it that serious. I be, I lie, Miss Patricia. When you no, don't, sir. you won't, you just say, oh, well, we'll do it, Jerry, we'll do it later. But when it costs you money, the pain, the, eh, <laughs> we must succeed. <laughs> I know what my eyes means. By all means. So it's to your advantage that you, you pay well to join a coaching program. I do that because I know I just don't throw it away. Today now, if I join a coaching program of $1,000, I won't take it serious, right? $2,000, I will not take it serious because it's the money I can throw away. But if I pay $20,000, ah, I was, you know, yeah, it's really not a big deal, but ah, at least let me get value. I, mean, I can't waste that kind of money. And that's the one of, it's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. And it also gives you the confidence to also charge people. The reason you are afraid to charge well, you start e-commerce business now, you now start charging because you bought the product at a cheap price. You will not be selling it at a cheap price and nobody will buy. I remember I did a, a, a coaching, free coaching segment session in uh, Radisson Blue one day. And a woman came to me and said, Mr. Steven, I'm already doing this business. I order from 1688.com. But my problem is that people are not buying. So I said, okay, show me the bag you are selling. It's all this, um, you know, this clone Gucci bag and all of that. <laughs> so she showed me. And, you know, even other colleagues in that class were saying, ah, almost 30K, 30K. This bag can be more than less than 30K. Do you know how much this woman said she's selling it? She says she's selling for 6,000 and people are even pricing it for 4,000 because she's able to bring it in for uh, 3,500 and she's afraid to charge the real amount. So when she goes to, to people think the caliber, the segment of people she's attracting at the, at the low end, who don't even know the quality of the bag they are carrying. Do you see the problem now? Meanwhile, on Jumia and Conga, the bag goes for 30000 and, and And so, but I told her, I said, who, how much did you pay for to join, the, to learn this business? She said, I saw one guy online pay 20000 I said, that's the reason why. Because it didn't cost you much to learn the business. You are not bold to charge for the quality of product that is in your hands. So the confidence is not there. So at the end of the day, the caliber of people you are even trying to push the product to are even the wrong, who don't even know what you are selling. They don't even know the value of the product because they've never bought such thing. They just think it's one of those bags. So these things are, again, mental shift is more important than many of what we are talking about here. Um, you know, honestly. So let me just quickly see if I can do a recap of the, the coaching programs we've been teaching so far. We started the first day, let me see, with Recharge and Bill, uh, how you can be making money uh, from Recharge and Bill business. And we showed you what we're gonna be giving you, a mentorship session for three months, worth 800,000. Um, you know, you'll get the website set up for you where you can begin to make money daily. A mobile app will be set up for you uh, coaching programs on how to do marketing on Facebook, all of that are going to be done for you. And we said for it's, uh, it normally goes for 3.9 million, but you can pay 600,000 at once, or you pay an installment of 700,000. You deposit 200,000, you balance the 500,000 in 30 days. We also said we don't do refunds, so don't join the coaching program if you're not sure you can raise the balance. Don't also join the coaching program if it's money you intend to use for burial of your great grand in law, cousin, brother, nephew. Okay? You know, people value burial than, than adding value to themselves. People value wedding than adding value to themselves. Um, you know, and I, and I see people do this all this time, all the time. I remember watching the wedding of one of my staff. You know, even my own wedding was not that loud. You know, and, and, and I'm just, I was just shaking my head. How much would this guy have spent? Oh, Luau, oh, Luau, oh, Luau. I pay his salary, how much? I did it, me, MDCO, whatever title you give me. 
I didn't, I, my wedding was not that lavish, right? The reason we are poor is right there in our face. We are just not being sincere with ourselves, right? Many of you, 400,000 is too much. Your wedding, including those of you who claim to be students, you will spend 5 million for your wedding. And wedding is one day, marriage is forever. You will not get married, you will not start borrowing money to take care of the wife. You say devil is the enemy witches and wizard, and you are the problem, you are the witches doing yourself, you are the wizard doing yourself, do yourself, you know, and you want me to waste my own time to coach you. You think 400,000 is too much to put on your own life and destiny. You think 400,000 is too much for you to learn and change your story and learn how to become well. You think it's too much. And you want me to leave my own multi-billionaire business and come and be teaching you. If you cannot invest that little into your business, then it speaks to how you carry yourself, okay? And it's just, a, a, it's a bitter truth, I agree, but it's the truth. So the recharge and build business, that is the details. If you want to join, you can still have the opportunity, but it ends immediately after this coaching program. The next was digital marketing, okay? Where you can learn how to go into digital marketing. You'll be taught, you have access to videos, you will join, a class where every week they do class sessions and train you. Um, also, it's going for $1,000 also. Um, we also, and this is the website, you can go and use your card and sign up on this website if that's the coaching program you want to join. We also taught on freelancing. Okay, we had coaching. Again, this freelancing is not correct. Abisola, where is uh, Muhammad? We agreed there's a link to the freelance. It's not the book. There is a coaching program specific for freelance. Okay. <clears throat> so guys, you can do the office email. They'll give you the link for that. It's also $1,000 if you want to join today. Then there's uh, the mini importation. You'll be added to a community. Every week there's a class going on. Next week we'll also see if we can host Mrs. Uh, Patricia to share practical strategies with you. Access to consultancy training videos, um, a copy of my book on, on this in this business, um, you know, networking and several other things is also part of it. We also have real estate to coaching program. If it's the real estate you want, it's also a thousand dollars. This is the account you can transfer to. Please and please. <clears throat> do not chat me inbox when you have made payment. What you have to do is send email, evidence of payment, your name, your phone number to product at stevactile.com, support at stevactile.com, info at stevactile.com, or just call that number, 081 They are the ones to process your payment. It's a company, and these are the people who work there. Um, this is the one that everybody here should be able to afford, right? So what we have done is to make sure nobody gives excuse. Ms. Patricia, we, we now have a university, Tivaktar University, over 1,000 videos. You get certification, okay? Um, certification on how to build wealth, either in e-commerce or real estate or any of these things. And you can join the class for two weeks and taste and see that the Lord is good for just less than 1,000 naira. Can you believe that? Instead of two, $247. And I did this because of this same six-day world challenge. That if people say they can't pay $1,000, they can't even pay for a book. There's not my book that is less than 1,000. Most of my books are like 4,000 or more. So you can't even buy a book. Okay, join university for two weeks. Right, even though every month they charge you forty-seven dollars, but at least you can even learn something in that two weeks and start something. It's less than one thousand naira. So again, there's no excuse, though. no no excuse. So again, the website is www.stevenactile.com forward slash university. Somebody says GTEx home site is having issues and refuses to open. Try with another browser. Uh, very sure to open. So, but this um, www.stevenactile.com forward slash university. Um, let me warn, 
from today, this university goes back to $247 to join. Today is the final day. You don't join today, you pay. I, it took me six years to come up with what is here. I started this journey six years ago, producing all this content six years ago. And if you think if I, what I have put, worked so hard for six years, okay, to put together, and I'm giving 100 of you who are part of this challenge opportunity to pay less than $1.47. $1 and every month you'll be paying for $7 to keep having access. And every day we're adding more programs, more courses. You get certificate after every course. And this, your normal conventional university, you go, you still look for a job. This one, you go and you learn how to start making money for yourself. So you have all this opportunity. Um, if you still don't take advantage of it, well, it's now up to you. I hope these six days that we, myself and my team have dedicated to come and share with you I hope it will be a turning point you'll remember for the rest of your life. I hope some of you will share this story with me one year from now, two years from now, have this six day sacrifice because it's a big sacrifice for me and my team. You saw how I kept just opposing. I just got back again from Abuja. I will just be running. Hey, if I have a, a, a deal right now, we're trying to do a joint venture in Parkview um, in Ikoyi. I, you know, with top guys that I have to cancel because of today's meeting. Okay, how much will people join this coaching program? That is what uh, um, a joint venture real estate deal in Parkview in Ikoyi. How much will everybody, if everybody here pay $1,000? <laughs> it's not up to the kind of money I'm supposed to be making in the joint venture deal I'm supposed to be attending right now. And if I mention the name of the people that I had to beg to say, so sorry, sir, I've been doing this class, you know, can we reschedule? If I mention their name, you say my head no correct. That if now you, you just say, which year, year uh, six day challenge, I beg you. <laughs> you know, so somebody said the Naira equivalent is 400,000 Naira, we're asking you to pay. So he said that you pay the dollar or you pay just 400,000, you can do transfer, you can go to the link and pay. And the university have mentioned that it's less than 1,000 Naira. However, you want to change dollar. $1 for seven cents is less than 1,000 Naira. You go to the website and try it out. Stop asking me questions because you don't do transfer for the university. You just go to the website and use your card to pay. www.stevenarkital.com forward slash university. For the university, you must use your card. There's no transfer. You use your card because it's a recurrent um, and it's automated and we cannot turn it to manual. So um, Toby Okunuga is also here. Toby, I uh, also have John. Um, the first set of questions that I want to ask you guys, and I want you to mention one, one point each. Okay. Um, you know, uh, Mutai says, Dr. Steven, thank you very much for convening us for this webinar the whole week. I have heard, I've taken notes and I've been challenged by your experience and tough love. You are welcome, my brother. Yeah, I know people always say I have this tough love, right? <laughs> you know, but you know, you, you know what I have noticed about the, the world? People are just not being sincere with us. And many people like to massage our ego and um, Bisola, let your people go on Facebook and be replying people's comment, please. Also, why some people are also replying comments here. Um, Toby is here. I, I, one of the most, the person I've been tough, mentee that I've been very tough on, is one of them, Toby Okunuga. But he probably will tell you now, it doesn't work for me anymore. All the tough love now, now who is taking advantage of it? Is it for me, right? <laughs> you know, all the discipline, now you are in Cyprus, your mother is not there, your father is not there, you're on your own, right? Others are having to do yahoo, yahoo, do whatever. You are a big boy, being able to stand your ground and say, hey, you don't need to do yahoo, yahoo to make money. 
I'm a boss. I have learned things. I'm, and, and you're living your life, right? But if you didn't go through the tough love with Stephen Akita in the school of Stephen Akita, you would be here. So, and many of us are never able to get people like that who can be tough, but be sincere and still love us. And you know they are saying this thing out of love. It's not like they hate you. Um, because that, and that's why many destinies have been ruined. Nobody is able to tell you the truth, that you need to sit up, you need to wake up and fix your life. And I'm that way. Anybody around me know that they are able to endure my tough love. To this morning, a mentee of my top celebrity, if, you, if I measure his name, is Big Boy. He said he wants to see me. I said, the only time you can see me is 5.30 a.m. Which, again, I wasn't trying to be unreasonable. I have a flight to catch by, by 8 a.m. And, and he's in Abuja. So woke up 5.30 a.m., joined me, um, you know, so we had breakfast together. But trust me, he was almost crying <laughs> when we were discussing. <laughs> because he has just committed blood. And I just don't know how to, you know, sugarcoat the thing. I did my best to sugarcoat the, you know, but I told him, oh God, you mess up, right? Because, and I broke down the consequences of his action. He said, hey, I didn't know. I said, who advised you to take that move? But at the end of the day, hopefully he's able to retrace his step, make adjustment. Two years from now, he will be sending me prayers. Ah, you said that thing. I make adjustment. My life changed. Guess what? If he thinks I'm being too hard, continues that path, two years from now, he will still realize his mistake. I said, somebody told me that I should have changed my pattern. I didn't listen to the person. Right? So these are realities here. So I'm going to start with Toby then, Mrs. Patricia. What is the attitude that somebody who really wants to go into any of the six businesses we have taught and is trying to join the coaching program. What is the attitude that they need to have? So I'm starting with you, Toby. Again, Abisola, please, there are a couple of people on, uh, somebody's asking the university is www.stephenakita.com forward slash university. That's the link. Just go there and use your card to pay. I have also, John, unmute your video. Yeah, go, Toby. Okay, so good evening, everybody, on this call. Um, trust I've been having a very, very good time so far. So talking about attitude, the first thing that I'll talk about is, you know, you have somebody that has, you know, been there, okay? The greatest mentor that you can have is not a mentor by talk, okay? It's a mentor by result, okay? So somebody that actually has exactly what you want, right and then he's giving you access to a blueprint of what he did to get to where he is okay you can't get a better deal than that so if you really admire dr steve nakintai and then you 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 know, want to someday get to his level you have to invest you have to pay the price your attitude right now is how should how am i going to get the money to pay for this coaching service because the truth of the matter is that everybody is going to pay a price. Trust me, if you don't pay for this course today, you will pay the price someday, okay? So it is either you pay the price in paying for a coaching program or you pay the price in making mistakes, in spending 20 years, you know, going on YouTube to go and check for free videos. And, I mean, you just end up, you know, going down the drain. Okay, nothing of value is, trust me, okay, nothing, you wouldn't get something that will take you from point A of your life to point B of your life for free, okay, valuable things come premium, okay, if you're always looking for free things here, here and there, like, your results will be very, very, you know, minimal and minute, okay, the good thing about Dr. is like, when you pay for his coaching program, right? You have access to him. You can always ask him questions and then it's going to ensure that you get results, okay? Everybody that have, that have gone through his coaching program or worked with him always have a story to tell, okay? 
I'm not trying to, you know, sugarcoat this whole thing and just just so that you can buy the course, but it's just the fact, okay, what teaches works. Like I said, some of you don't even need to start a new business. Some of you just need coaching because the mind needs some certain interests. You need a mentor. You need somebody to give you instructions, okay? The mind needs instructions. You might be... Oh, is that Toby? Is it from to Toby's end? World. Toby, what's going on? Uh, why is Cyprus internet like that? What's going on? <laughs> oh, are, they too, are you the no longer in Cyprus? <laughs> that was talking that, okay. Toby, your internet, what's going on huh? with your internet? Are you the no longer in Cyprus? Have they... Taking my boy to uh, Somali <laughs> or Libya. <laughs> my my okay. provider is, you know, just messing up the last two. Okay. I, I, by the way, all of you would like to travel abroad. Cyprus is just a glorified Nigeria. <laughs> it's not that. It's just a. It's just, Cyprus is just a glorified Nigeria. <laughs> We're, we're trying. Okay, we're trying. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so I'm so sorry. So let me just you know wrap wrap it up. My internet is messed up. Um, the uh, weather is you know crazy over here and everything. So what I'm saying right now is that okay, the mind needs instructions right to thrive to succeed. You need a mentor. You need someone to show you the way. There's no way. Okay, so that you can harvest. Okay, harvest comes investment. Okay, so your attitude should be to invest so that you can harvest. Okay, a few months in the next one year. Thank you very much, so much, uh, Toby Okunuga, for that. I really appreciate you. Um, yes, Miss Patricia attitude that people need to have towards this kind of opportunities of joining a coaching program or starting this kind of business, any of the businesses we've been teaching so far, what's the right attitude to have? You need to unmeet yourself. Yeah. So first I'll say you pay your way to access. You pay your way to access. That is why it seems like the rich people are getting richer because they keep circulating the rich within themselves. You pay yourself to access. Let me explain that. There are several um, courses I have registered for that has given me access. Sometimes I, I just do that. I am even reading the content of those courses like, ah, this thing is stressing me. But because I want to have access, I want to be around that person to receive some sense. Anytime I want to receive tough love, I drive to Omole, to Dr. <laughs> to Dr. Stevens' office to receive sense. So sometimes you pay yourself to, for, um, to access. Sometimes it's not even about what you are learning, but to build a relationship, to network, to build a relationship. Then secondly, I also want to say, we have in our hands and in our heads already what can turn our situations around. Listen to that again. You have in your hands and in your head already what, what you need to turn your situations around. I see a lot of people lamenting, I don't have money, I'm a student, and all of that, you have not taught enough. I tell you, if you think enough, you will find a solution. If you think enough, you will leave the situation you are. If you think enough, solution will come. I, I was... Um, before I started um, um, e-commerce and meaning quotation, I was doing and I was I was selling food online. I was running an online restaurant. Apart from other hustling I was doing, I was just thinking of ways to raise money, and I was able to raise money. Those were some of the things I was doing that helped me to have at least a little uh, amount of money to be able to to even pay part of my coaching fee when I was. Um, when I was to start um, e-commerce and making quotation, at least I had something, I had a seed that I could start with. I was not just zero and just exposed. 
like that. So you have in your hand and in your head what you need to turn your situation around. You, you only need to think. You only need to look within. You only need to think. I tell you, if you exercise, if you, if, if you put pressure on yourself, that thing you are looking for will come. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you so, so much for that. Uh, can we all be clapping for them as they give us some of this? Because they've been, by the way, let me um, say this, they have been where you are. Everybody I'm bringing to share with you, they have been where you are. They were once just watching a webinar like this, you know, wondering how do I raise the money? When all these challenge you have, they were also there. But they found the courage to do something and today, there are people who are bringing up to say, come and share your testimony. And I believe one day I'll bring you up too, to come and say, tell us your story, how you um, change your life. Now, note, coaching is not magic. Your coach will not do everything for you. Coaching is just a guide. You know, coaching just means that uh, there's a weekly video they'll be telling you to watch. You can ask questions and you get support from me and my team. But we won't do everything for you. You still have to do things for yourself. Um, but ultimately, the price is always worth paying. Um, John, you're next. John is my main in real estate, um, in the real estate sector. So John, go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for this opportunity once again. Yeah, I just want to tell the viewers outside there that they should, there should be this readiness in them. There should, read, there should be there should be readiness in them and the willingness for them to learn. One minute, five minutes, ten minutes with Dr. Sirakipayo, you can't take it for a joke. I started making my I, I have property in millions. I started making I'm a millionaire just through listening to him and follow his steps. Do it this way, do it this way, do it this way. So once you are ready to learn, because you can't you can't just go up. You have to go up. It's a, it's a, it's a stage. You have to move by that stages, move it one after the other. So you don't, you should, you should go up. Definitely you will come down, but if you grow up, it is difficult for you to just come down. So the readiness should be there, then the willingness should be there, then with prayer and hard working, I believe everyone will go far in life. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Mohamed Adeleke, we are talking about the attitude people should have um, for those who are interested in joining this coaching program or taking a step around the businesses we've taught in these last six days. What's the attitude you need? You think people need to have? Okay, uh, good evening everybody. I appreciate this uh, special opportunity. Mohamed's network again. Okay, let's go with Sean. Sean, please go ahead. All right, good evening, everybody. And um, uh, I logged in late. I've been inside traffic, so I just had to pull over somewhere. <laughs> All right. Um, for me, I think it is hunger. Um, it is hunger. Uh, you need to be hungry, you see. Uh, to have a, a, a lion share, you need a lion heart. So it's all mm -hmm. about, um, yeah, I think it's all about being hungry. Yeah, the truth is, I'm coming from a very humble background. <laughs> I don't have a rich uncle, and I don't have any rich um, auntie anyway. And uh, I, I just knew that I didn't have any choice. I can play it safe, and I can point fingers. I just have to find a way. I, I don't know how it's going to be. And um, I know it's going to be legal, but at the same time, I just have to find a way. So anytime I have opportunity to see people that have gone ahead of me, I don't, I have nothing to be shy about. I go after them. I, I do all I can. I pay for mentorship if it is needed. Like what I did when I started freelancing, I finished university and there was no hope, there was nobody. All the promises failed. So I had to be looking for how to learn, how to leverage on people. And I, I found a friend that was already a freelancer and it was hanging big. I had to throw myself to him. Um, apart from, uh, I paid him, but apart from that, I, I had to serve with him. I mean, the guy was going to send me to do some one or two things for him, and I was going to do it till 
I was able to stand on my feet. So I think it is hunger, capacity to see what you want and go for it. It is hunger. They won't bring it to you. So it, it's all depends on you and find a niche. I'm talking about if uh, you want to earn money from the internet now, you need a niche. Find a niche and grow that niche to um, uh, to the stage at which you become an authority. I think that's that, that's it for me, sir. Being hungry. I mean, being hungry. Being <laughs> hungry. Being hungry. <laughs> absolutely. I, I, and I and I agree with you absolutely that the the, the uh, ability to stay hung, to be hungry and to stay hungry uh, for success is ultimately what gets you there. Many of us, our problem is just that we are not hungry enough. People always tell me, Mr. Steven, how did you get here? I said, well, I had no choice. I was on the floor. There was nowhere else to go. It better work. Success was the only option me I had. Some of you still have some uncles send you money. You still have some people deceiving you somewhere. You still have some parents, you know, who care so much about you. So you, you, you can afford not to be hungry. The only breadwinner I had died. You know, um, I woke up, all my senses came alive. And assuming the breadwinner was even rich, is another thing. She wasn't even rich, only for the person again to die. You are made old by his tribe, you have been made old. So I'm going to I, pray with you. I woke up seriously and uh, all my senses came alive. Um, yes, um, Muhammad. Your turn. Uh, thank, thank you for the opportunity um, for, for coming up on this uh, platform. Well, my advice when it comes to attitude is that when we are doing business, our attitude to business should be all in attitude. And we should see success as our duty. That's the attitude. We see success as our duty, and we should call it, call it all in. That is, it's as if the ship has been burnt. And we are crossing the we have already crossed the river. Either you win and go with your enemies ship, or you don't return. So it is this calling attitude and being consistent and not jumping from one business to the other, but focusing on a particular business, explore all the options in the business, get some level of results. After scaling, after gotten some level of results, then we can now scale it up. Yeah, based on the experience you have in business here, then after some years, you cannot expand to others. That's the same model that Dr. Siddhartha is using. That's the same model that Nuki was using. So what I see in most people, now even from their business card, you see general contractors, which means they are not ready to focus on a particular uh, business. They have to focus on a particular business. If you go to Google, even to now, you Google Stephen. You know, oh, I got that. Right. You see Stephen, okay. why is this so? But because we start still focus on GSM, Mark SMS business, then that's how you go to Google. His name is synonymous to Mark SMS business, then. The same thing applies to real estate now. And that is the thread people like me and Modern or Richard and you and all the other guest speakers we have today. They focus on the particular business they do and they are making it do. Even Madame Patricia, she's focusing on the uh, fashion niche and she's making a lot of money from that. Fantastic. Thank you so much. One more question I'm going to ask all of you before I let you go. And that will be, why do people, I mean, joining the coaching program, uh, because I love to be sincere with people, does not guarantee you're going to be wealthy. Buying my books does not guarantee you're going to be wealthy. Nothing's guaranteed. Yeah. Um, joining the university does not guarantee you're going to be wealthy. So the question I will start with Ms. Patricia, why do people join coaching programs and still not succeed like you guys have done um you know what what do you think is responsible for that you see people join they even join one program or the other some even join 20 programs eh? and nothing changes it's just almost like wasting money what do you think leads to that uh, miss patricia is gone i think maybe our network um, but let me start with John. John, what do you think has led to people? You can mention one or two or three things uh, quickly that you think uh, is responsible for people still not making it despite joining mentorship or trying to learn. So I just think the major reason why they are not succeeding after joining the mentorship program is because 
they think it, it's a day job. So they want they want the chap chap money. And once you are not a fraudster, the chap chap money is not coming from anywhere. So they they so they, they have to be ready to learn the process and follow their mentor and follow their mentor in and out, like do the needful. Once they put the needful in, 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 in progress, they will come back with the testimony. That will be a, that will be a result. So there should not be this too much of all oh, that. Oh, where's the profit coming from? Oh, where's the money coming from? They should be at least take the steps, and definitely they will succeed. Because if you are too rushed, some some of them are, are, are put on my five hundred thousand year. The money is not coming. It's not a it's not a it's not a day job. So you have to be patient. Absolutely. Can we clap for Mr. John for that? Please clap for him because that is a powerful point that he has um, raised here. Success is not a destination, it's a journey. Uh, there's no abracadabra. I don't join coaching and tomorrow money start rolling in. You have to be willing to go the long haul. When I started real estate, I remember it was even my staff that were complaining, oh God, we're not doing well now. Right? Because... I, I literally had to shut down some other businesses to focus on real estate. So my staff were already worried. I had to tell them, I said, look, I'm ready to do this business for five, 10 years without profit. This is not a short game. It's a long time game. And today, gradually, gradually, the things begin to make sense. And many of them are beginning to realize that this man was right. Okay, so um, that's a powerful contribution shown uh, you are next. Why do people pay? Uh, they join coaching program. They, they seemingly claim to not have mentors, but there is no result yet. Wow. Yeah, yes, sir. I think it is um, personal commitment and consistency. You see, no matter how, <laughs> if you have a mentor, and um, good to have a mentor, good to read books, but the place of personal execution that is used staying on the job. You get it done, no matter what it is. There are some certain things that you know you are, just have to set the goal. If you don't have to eat, don't eat. Until we get it done, nobody's leaving this place. I think it is personal commitment. That commitment, okay. nobody will do that for you. <laughs> if you like, no matter what the mentor, what mentor or what the personal coach can do, is to actually tell you what to do and how to do it. Now, you doing it is left to you. You leave this place. Um, you are excited that you have heard about a new business, mm -hmm. but you are not committing to it. I mean, you are not committed, rather. You did not uh, execute, instant execution. If you want to join Stephen Agatha uh, University, do it now. You want to meet with social, so do it. There is, you don't want to play it safe. So personal commitment. Then the place of consistency, it doesn't come to one, sir. I don't know. So uh, I, I saw a quote by, um, by, by himself, by a doctor himself, uh, I think he said he said consistency. Ah, I want to remember something like consistency will be excellent somehow, like something related to that. Like, yeah, it's good to be excellent. But you see that man that will always come every day. Everybody knows him. Anytime he shows his face, he already knows he's talking about real estate. Anytime he shows his face, he already knows talking about real estate. So consistency will make a dull person a smart person, no matter what it is. If he's coming up, he's showing up every day, and he's doing that same thing every day. A time is coming. Whenever they mention that, it will be the first place that will come to their mind. So I think personal execution, commitment, then consistency. You cannot beat that. And you won't want to play with that. So that's my part, sir. Amazing. <clears throat> awesome. Can we clap for Mr. Shion one more time? Um, that's a fantastic one. Thank you for that. Yes. Um, Muhammad, you know, you are next. Okay. Interesting. Uh, when it comes to uh, business, uh, there are three things that are very important. First one is entrepreneurial mindset. Most of us, we are technicians suffering from entrepreneurial seizure. When I say seizure, we call it giddy. So when there's a technical person who is suffering from giddy of business, it believes that the fact that he's working with somebody, you understand how to do the business. So he can now uh, start his own business after leaving the person. In fact, he learned the fundamental of how to run a successful business. In fact, that a, success, a, a, a very good plumber, he told me he can run a successful plumbing business. In fact, that a very good cook, he told me he can run a successful 
uh, restaurant business. So you need to also learn the business aspect of the business. That is to build your entrepreneurial skill. You also have the right mindset as an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur can work 10, 16 hours per day. For an average employee mindset, you want to work 8 hours and rest in the night. I cannot come and kill myself. So it's a different mindset. That is one. The second point is that focusing on value. Most of us, what we focus on is money. Mm. Uh, Mohammed and his network is really um, an issue. Uh, but again, I want to agree with him. Your focus when you want to become an entrepreneur should be adding value to people. Your initial decision may be because you need money. But what you soon realize, very soon you make enough money and that's, that will change. So your ability to understand that this is not just about making money, it's also being in a position to change people's life, will keep you hungry, even after you have overcome the initial um, reason for choosing to join, to start a business, which probably is that, yes, you needed to pay some bills, okay? But you must understand that it's beyond just paying bills. Me, myself, my family, my children. It's about changing lives of people. Wealthy people are, are successful because they understand that they're in business to change lives of people. They're in business to add value to humanity. They're in business to, to, to offer something of value. Miss Patricia, for example, is doing me another five suits. Okay, I'm not patronizing her just because she was my, uh, she's my mentee. Okay, it's because she knows how to sew good suits. Okay, that's just the truth. If you're having problems signing up to the Stivakta University, please call the admin. Okay, call the number given to you or send an email to products at stevenakitao.com. Products with an S, product that you add an S at stereactile.com, they will sort you out. But Nigerians are able to pay with their Nigerian card, absolutely. Um, so again, that's the secret here. Yeah. Value, adding value, adding value. All of you know I am here because I add value, right? You, many, all of you watching me for the last six days, 90% of you have not bought one Nera from me. It doesn't change my enthusiasm. You know why? I'm in the business of adding value to people. That's my business. So whether you've done business with me, you buy my product or not, it doesn't matter. I am in the business of adding value. The business I do is to add value to humanity. And that should also be your mindset that you want to change people's life. You want to add value. Yes, you want to make money to take care of yourself, your family. But beyond that, you want to add value. You want to add value. It's not just about I'm hungry, I need to pay bills. I'm also willing to add value. And the same thing is the reason why you see people uh, struggle to pay for coaching, for things like this, because we've not yet changed our mindset where we are now wired to think value, value for value. If I want Mr. Steven to mentor me, why should he mentor me for free? He's not my president. He's not my governor. I'm demanding more. This man has even added more value to me than my president. I have added value to all of you here in the last six days than Buhari, than the governor of your state, than your local government chairman. Have I not done enough? So always see things from that perspective. People will offer me value in exchange for value. Me too, I will offer people value in exchange for value right? They will pay me money for something I have done. Not that people just dash me money. Not that people just help me for because they like my face. I must offer something of value to them before I expect them to, to add something to me. When you begin to see life from that perspective, I promise you, your life will start changing. I, in my life, there is no mortal man. You may have seen me with uh, former President Lucia Gwambasojo, 
former deputy governor, all of these people, one, not one of them have given me one cover in my life, not one. In fact, if you see them, ask them. The day, there's no time I've ever met any one of them that have not come with either a gift or something. You say, but you're a young man. You don't have that kind of money. But that's the way I think. I don't see myself as a victim. I don't see myself as a beggar who need to be begging, you know, people for money. I see myself as I have something on my inside. The first time I met Chief Oisha Gobasu, I was the one that came with award to, to give him that, you know, he's one of the most pro-business president I have met. I've studied him. One cobo I've never collected for, no, one cobo. Right? And I've met, asked several people recently where I begin to add some top people to our board in our company, right? It's me that begin, what can we add to these people's life, right? For them to become our advisors in our company, we must also add something to them. Even if it's we pay flight ticket, we pay hotel accommodation for them. But that's how, why I'm making progress. I don't ever meet anybody and have the mindset of dash me, help me. Mm -mm. I'm saying if I need help from these people, me too, I must offer something in exchange for the help that I need. That's how to move on. Ms. Patricia, you are the last to share with us what is the, what is the reason why sometimes people join coaching, they invest in all these things we're asking them to invest, yet their lives do not change. What is the, so that those who are joining either coaching or doing one thing or the other don't make the same mistake. What are the things that people miss when they join coaching or buy books that end up making them not to succeed despite the excitement that they have done the right thing? Okay, thank you very much, sir. Most um, people, I would say, are mentally lazy. Mm. And mental laziness is one of the worst things that can happen to you. Mental mm. laziness is a limiting mindset. Mm. Most people want to make money, but they are not ready to put in the work. Mm. You hear that Mrs. Patricia is making so, so, and so millions of Naira in, uh, in e-commerce and importation business. And you quickly register for e-commerce and importation business. And you are not ready to put in the work that Mrs. Patricia put into. And you are expecting to get um, those millions of Naira sitting in your account. You will wait long. You will wait long. So most people just want to, um, they, they just, okay, this business, this is what is, this the in thing now. This business is making people millionaires. Let me subscribe. Let me pay and just go to sleep. Wow. For poverty, we will we, we'll be smiling at you. So one of the things that people should learn to do is to put in the work, especially if you have gone all out to get money, to get a mentor, to get a coach, follow that mentor bumper to bumper. People are waiting for the mentor to be calling you and be asking you, how far? Where are you now? What have you done? Have you, <laughs> you will wait long. You paid, but you will follow them. If you want to get results, you will follow the mentor. I remember one of the things that uh, Dr. Akinta usually always say is that the difference between an ordinary student and an A student is the extra effort an ordinary student put in the same lecturer taught you you are given the same handout you are given the same material but one is an is a first class student one is an a student and you you are you are struggling to pass because that other person put extra extra effort in studying extra effort in researching extra effort in going to the library extra effort in surfing the internet and all of that so put in and make make up your mind that is either I win or I win. That was the mindset I had. When I was able to pull resources together to get coached, I made up my mind. First, I wanted, to, I said, this money, I have to make it back. I have to do everything I have to do. When discouragements were coming, there were a lot of um, ups and downs and all of that. I, I kept pushing. I didn't get discouraged. I kept pushing. And then I had a good mentor also in Mrs. Akintayo that kept pushing me, that kept helping me, that kept putting those calls across, that kept doing everything she could to make sure I succeeded because I was willing to succeed. If I stayed in my comfort zone, 
I will be where I am. She wouldn't come and meet me there. And I usually tell people, in your comfort zone, nothing grows there. Your comfort zone is a barren land. Nothing grows there. Nothing grows there. So if you are willing to put in the efforts, you will definitely see results. If you have this, it is either I win or I win mentality. You will come out with results. Nobody's going to spoon feed you. We are very, very lazy, especially in Africa. We don't want to read. I saw some of those slides where there are some people are still asking, how are we going to pay? Uh, they're still asking, some, you don't want to read. <laughs> you don't want to read. So we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to put in efforts. And then um, you're not going to, nothing is going to fall on a platter of gold on, 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 upon your laps. You have to go all out for it. So even as you're going to make effort to invest in mentoring, to invest in yourself, you still have to keep pushing. You see, I see Dr. I can tell you, sometimes I, I, I just wake up from sleep. Oh, I just wake up from yeah. sleep. I pick my phone. I see his life. I say, my God, <laughs> and me, I'm just waking up. <laughs> I see his life. I see he's already in Ibeduleki. I see he's already somewhere. He keeps pushing. He keeps pushing. There was something he wrote on his uh, sir, um, last Monday, your Monday motivation. There was something you wrote. And you said, uh, if you make money and you think um, you're going to settle or you're going to relax and you think, oh, you have arrived, poverty, we just, <laughs> we, we just <laughs> pounce on you. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. Uh, I think I've said enough. Come Thank on. You. Let's <laughs> come for this, Patricia. Awesome. I have my oldest mentee. I, I didn't tell her I'm bringing her up, but I hope she, she's where she can talk. Mama is 82 years old now. Wow. You know, so uh, I mentor her in writing a book, which we call author, feeling 40 at 80. Okay, Mama can tell you in London, in my hotel in London, 1 a.m., she's still in my hotel to finalize the book. We're still working 1 a.m. Okay, um, you know, Grandma, are you there? Can you show your face? <laughs> grandma, you yeah, come up, I made you at me. Just unmute yourself. You know, hey, Grandma is here. <laughs> you know, Grandma Good evening, share everybody. Your <laughs> Good, evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, everyone. You are doing very, very well. If you are one of them following this man, you cannot fail. <laughs> if you follow his steps, don't, you can't be tired because the ego power is in him to pull you up. You will wake up by force. You will not sleep, you will not rest. That is how he made it. And God will continue to strengthen you, Dr. Stephen. Amen. Amen. I can never forget this man. <laughs> I did not know I can survive following this man's step. <laughs> 1 a.m. in his hotel. That's, that's even small. Every 2 a.m. I'll be receiving text. This is the deadline. Tomorrow is the deadline. Another day is the deadline. I was shaking. So I will just <laughs> hold on. on. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I have no computer. I have no laptop. I was using this, my phone, to write the book. Wow. And uh, I so much enjoy the pulling up of this uh, man, young man, with an ego, ego strength. So I'm even waiting to write another one. I'm ready to get it. <laughs> <laughs> He quit, you will call auto again. I enjoy it. No problem. There was a time I was saying that, what is wrong with this man? Am I the only one that is, why is he always after me? Does he not have any other job to do? It's only me, me, me. But I do appreciate him very, very much. So those who are following him, hold his, hold his trouser tightly and continue to obey and do what he wants you to do. You will, you will reap what you have sown, but keep on water. Cutting your seed. Don't be tired. Focus. Be consistent. Be, de be dedicated. You will, you will enjoy it. Thank you very much, uh, my Stephen. My, my one and only At 82, I, I will still be on Zoom like this, charging you people up like grandma. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. You know, I, 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 
Guys, at 82, she still takes the train in London. At 82, she she lives alone, takes care of herself. There's no maid, strong, no walking stick. And grandma wants to do 120 plus one. Can everybody type in? <laughs> we shall everybody be together. Type in for grandma. grandma is going to live. 120 plus one, that's a, a, a vision. Can everybody yes. please type amen for that? I mean, amen. She, she is my role model in this conversation of longevity. Uh, and I'm not even joking with that. I want to do, me, I don't even need the plus one. 120 is okay for me, uh, you know. But having, uh, as much as, you know, I mentor her in writing books, she's really my mentor in terms of learning how to live long. Uh, by the way, I've stopped eating red meat because of her. I, it's one of the things I learned from uh, while we were writing a book. I had to ask her all these questions, right? What are the things you do? She says, it's God's grace. I say, I know it's God's grace. Aside God's grace, what else <laughs> you know, kept you this healthy <laughs> at this age? I want to know what, because many of us, we allow ourselves to be deceived by this is God's grace. I'm not saying it's not God's grace. But there's something else you added to the grace. The grace is common to all of us. I mean, mm. you agree. If you're a Christian, you believe you you know the grace is for everybody. You know, if you're a Muslim, you have whatever you read in your own book. So in my own book, is that the grace is available to all of us who are Christians. So why is mm. it that some bishop at 60 they are dead? They can't even walk. Mm. And they are bishop, they have tied to. And somebody who is church member, grandma, you know, goes to, she's a, you know, a worker in her church. She sweeps the, the church. She does, I mean, so why will a member live 82 and still be sound? And pastor at uh, 60 is already looking somehow. There's something else she's adding to the grace. So one of you, she doesn't eat red meat, you know, only fish. You know, I ate, you know, the time I'm in London, I eat grandma's food, you know, because... This is too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a way she prepares our, our, our food. You know, but it's, you, everything you want to be in life is possible. Just find somebody who is ahead of you and start following their footsteps. And you get there. It's not, these things are not as difficult as, um, as we think. It's just look for people who have results in an area. Right, follow their footsteps. You know, be humble to follow. Mm. Right, if grandma at eighty two, right, will be chasing me around, come to hotel to you know obey instructions at eighty two, right? How much more some of us, you know, who already feels that um, you know, uh, where to be grandma, the Lord will honor you and continue Thank to you. strengthen your Thank health. You. Thank you very I much. For your 90th birthday, for your 100th birthday, Amen. for 110, Amen. for 120, who will Amen. come? Amen. Grace of God. I will come with Miss Patricia and Mohammed and um, John and uh, Uluashe for the next one so that they can come and tap, tap into longevity and <laughs> Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we are waiting for you in London. The books are ready. I don't know how to get it across to you. No problem. I am. I, um, I was. I went to renew my um, uh, my passport. I will even be at the um, visa center tomorrow. They've been with my passport for two months. I'm supposed to be in London by now, mm. but the UK visa center has been with my passport for two months. Oh dear. My PA made a mistake. She went for standard instead of priority. Oh. Even though she paid for the priority, maybe the the guy she used, you know, you know. So, but um, and once they release my uh, passport, I will be on my way to London. By the grace of God, the anointing of longevity with sound mind is released upon you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. My grace to you all. You are at the top in the name of Jesus. Amen, Grandma. Thank you. Oh, so Thank you. Thank you. The Lord will honor you, sir. Amen, Ma. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Okay, so guys, um, 
that's it for today. Can you all help me appreciate everyone who has been here? Toby is gone now, but was here. Miss Patricia, just be clapping. Mention their name and clap for them. Both those of you on Facebook, those of you on YouTube, clap for John Toba. Clap for you, John. Oluasheo Yeni. And of course, one and only grandma. Let's all clap for her. Come on, everybody. Thank you. Thank That's you very much. <laughs> everybody. The Lord will honor you all for coming. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you asking again, I'm going to display the payment details or any of the uh, six businesses, the coaching fee, any of the five, the coaching fee is 400000 while the recharge and bill is 600000 So these are the payment details. Um, and then once you've made payment, please don't bother reach out to me. Just send a mail to support at stevenactile.com or products at stevenactile.com or info at stevenactile.com. Make sure you put your mm -hmm. phone number, evidence of payment, and the team will reach out to you. You can also go to the link. There's a URL link. You can see grandma knows how to use Zoom at 82. Knows how to use Facebook. And some of you will be giving an excuse. I'm struggling to pay. I'm struggling to know how to do. I'm not conversant with internet. At 82, you can see now. All these excuses people give. Ah, hey. You have no excuse, though. And you heard her. She wrote her book without a laptop. Right? She, and I'm just even hearing that she didn't have a laptop for the first time today. My own is, I've asked her, she has to do it. I've given her a deadline. I didn't even bother asking her that she had a laptop or not. But that's the attitude. The no giving excuse attitude. I'm not going to give excuse. Many of you have given plenty of excuse now. Right? Plenty. Oh, I don't even know how to operate the thing. The thing looks somehow. When you are determined, excuses will disappear. Let me wrap up with this quotable quote. I want everybody to write it down and never forget it. Successful people do not have the luxury of excuses. Successful people do not have the luxury of excuses. Let me repeat that again. Those who are big people, you know, in career, in business, in whatever, they don't have that luxury. They cannot afford it. Another way to put it is that, you know, uh, um, successful people cannot afford the luxury of excuses. They can't afford it. I don't have laptop. That's my problem. I don't have money. That's my problem. My mother-in-law cousin died. That's my problem. And the, the witches in my village are against me. That's my problem. When you are ready to stop giving excuses, you are ready to go to the top. Love you all. Thank you for being part of this six days to class. You miss any class, visit at Stephen Akintayo on YouTube. Subscribe and watch Stephen Akintayo TV. That's the word to type on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Can we all of us unmute ourselves and say bye-bye to all our students? Can everybody do that? Let's all unmute ourselves yeah, and yeah, say bye-bye. Yeah, yes, sir. And, and I, I want to... Um, yeah, I'll do uh, I'm want... talking of... Um... Yeah, Dr. Steven, I'm actually personally saying thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the lead, thank you for not giving us, uh, for not giving up on hers, mm. thank you for um, all the for for all the sacrifices, and um, I personally am not taking it for granted. You have been there for me from day one, so and um, I can't just I can't I really I, I went for a seminar. Somebody actually said it, and I told my wife. The person said. Oh, oh, he said, you are, you are talking and you're doing like Stephen Akitayo. Like He mentioned it. I couldn't believe it. I told my wife when I got home. The guy said, you are talking. There is no way I'm going to be hitting this, this man, listening to his video, and it won't rub on me. I want to say thank you for being there for us. Thank you for not giving up on us. Thank you for always being there to guide and to mentor. And I appreciate And I believe everybody here, they appreciate Thank you so much. And God bless you. God bless your family. God bless you, Mr. God bless all your children. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. So let's say bye bye to everyone. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye. God bless you. Love you. I miss you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.